You can keep the Blackshirt defense locked up for only so long. Nebraska and their legendary defense has returned. And so have the victories. The Cornhuskers are once again looking towards the conference championship. But first, they have a big task in front of them. The Missouri Tigers have a tank full of offensive weapons, and it starts with their leader, the extremely athletic Brad Smith. This gifted QB will hurt you in the air and on the ground. Nebraska on the road against Missouri. This could be a special day for special teams. The battle begins in moments on FSN. to Columbia, Missouri. We're glad to have you aboard on a picture-perfect day for college football as Kia Sarah presents college football Saturday from the Big 12. The Missouri Tigers to host the Nebraska Cornhuskers. The Huskers at 5-1, and one, the Tigers at 4-2. Glad to have you aboard, folks. Bill Land along with Dave Lapham. What a dandy matchup we've got here. You saw the overall records, but more importantly, Dave, both come in at 2-1, and one, legitimate shot at taking control in the north today. Absolutely. I mean, it's a huge game. Nebraska, Colorado, Missouri, all 2-1. and one. Nebraska, Missouri, they face off today. They both face Colorado down the road, but, boy, getting a victory today gives one of these schools a definite leg up. Tigers are coming off a big win over Iowa State in overtime. In that game, their all-star quarterback, Brad Smith, got knocked out. The youngster redshirt freshman Chase Daniel led him to victory in OT. But don't make any mistake about it. Brad Smith is the man here at Mizzou. And deservedly so, Bill. You look at the entire body of work, and it's an easy call. I mean, Brad Smith is getting it done this year just like he has his entire career. And his numbers speak to that. When you look at him, he can beat you with his throwing arm and his jackhammer feet. After all, he's leading the Big 12 in rushing this season, averaging over 103 yards. He's one of only three quarterbacks in NCAA history that have thrown the ball for 6,000 yards and run it for another 3,000. This guy is the real deal, and when he's in space, he is tough. He'll be able to throw it today down the football field, and you see three of his receivers. There's five guys in the team with 20 catches more. We're showing you three of them here. The reason we're showing you these three, look at the height, 6'5", 6'5", 6'7". Big, big targets to get the ball down the field against smaller defensive backs. Nebraska's DBs are averaging about 5'10", 190 pounds. The receivers from Missouri, 6'4 and a half, 220 pounds. That's a big size advantage on that contested catch, even if Nebraska's in good coverage. Well, Nebraska has been up to the challenge lately. What a defense the Huskers bring to the table here today. They lead the nation in sacks with 34. Probably tells you all you need to know. They get after it, Dave. Oh, they do get after it. They reestablish the line of scrimmage. I mean, they punch you. They don't wait and counter punch. They punch you. And look at McCune, 11 tackles for loss, leading the team. And then Carriker, six sacks, leading the team. And their whole mojo is attack, attack, attack. Get you off schedule, get you in a lot of second and long, third and long. That's what Missouri will be facing today. Well, the Huskers own the series lately. They've won 25 of the last 26. But the last time they played here, it was Mizzou. Should be a dandy on Kia Sarah's college football. Welcome back to Kyocera College Football Saturday. I'm John Radigan on the sidelines in Columbia, Missouri, where even the trees seem to know what weekend it is. Those trees that haven't gone from green to autumnal gold have turned a brilliant shade of red here in Columbia, Missouri. It is the black and gold of Missouri against the big red. That is the Corn Huskers of Nebraska. And this is a Nebraska team that is just three points away from being undefeated thus far this season. Zach Taylor has been the key to them thus far this year. This is just their second road game of the season, although if you look at Zach Taylor's breakdown of the numbers, you would think that he played his first three games on the road, all in hostile environments. You see the total numbers there, but in the first three games, he completed just 43% of his passes. He's got a 61% completion rate in the last three. One touchdown and three interceptions in the first three, six touchdowns, and just two picks in the final three games that he has played. 
There is a lot of atmosphere here in Columbia, Missouri. We've got fire trucks coming by. We've got the blackout. That is where fans here are encouraged to wear all black for this game. And we are ready for football down here on the field. We come back and give you the starting lineups and the kickoff. It's MU. It's all for you right here on FSN. Welcome back, Kyocera's College Football Saturday, Nebraska and Missouri. Bill Land, Dave Lapham, John Radigan with you here on just a gorgeous afternoon for college football in Columbia. And the Missouri fans still filing in as they go against the Huskers. The Huskers 5-1, and 2-1 and one in league. Mizzou with 4-2, 2-1 two, two and one in the Big 12. And the winner of this one will have a share of first place and may have it to themselves depending on what happens later today with Kansas and Colorado and they play for the victory bell they've been playing this matchup since 1927 that's uh, quite a little bit of tradition no question Bill Callahan second year as the head coach gotten things going back in the direction that he had hoped they would be after a five and six opening campaign of course had the Raiders in the Super Bowl prior to coming to the college scene once again and Gary Pinkle you see he can go 500 as a head coach at Mizzou and he's looking for his career win number 100 here with the Tigers Missouri also a five and six club a year ago and the kickoff to Missouri and is brought out of the end zone to the 15 and the 20 and out to the 23 yard line for the Missouri Tigers and Kester makes the tackle for Nebraska. Let's take a look at our Kiyosara starting lineup. First of all, for the offense, and that means the Mizzou Tigers. Brad Smith has literally done it all. The leading rusher in the Big 12 Conference, his career yardage total, quite a story. Tony Palmer leads him up front, got the interest of the NFL guys, and in their wideouts, they've got five receivers with a minimum of 20 receptions. And you see Woods at the tailback spot averages 5.4 per carry to score three times. No huddle, Bill, right to the line of scrimmage, Missouri establishing tempo. Smith throws it and completes it out near the 27 yard line, making the reception for the Missouri Tigers. And let's take a look at the Nebraska defensive group, brought to you by Kira Serra. Leading the nation in sacks, they'll play maybe nine down linemen. There are the starters. The linebackers, Dave told you all about McEwen. Rudd follows the family tradition there, or the root, I should say. Green, Bullocks, and the rest of the bunch in the secondary. Well, they'll play as many as six. Very deep Nebraska defensive group. Trying to make Nebraska play simple defensively with no huddle attack. Brad Smith got some time, plenty of time. Going deep. And it is complete inside the 25 yard line. Ekwerekru with the reception, and the Tigers are already knocking on the door. Well, they got the matchup they wanted the mismatch. They get Ekwerekru against McCune, the linebacker. And it's just a jump ball. And Ekwerekru is, is six foot three inches. They all started with protection. Nebraska rushed three and dropped eight. And then Brad Smith just throws it down the football field. You have a jump ball like we talked about, contested catch made by the taller receiver. First to 10 at the 23. And on the ground, and Woods weaving his way inside the 20 down near the 18-yard line, the tackle by Grixby. Take a look at our Dr. Pepper keys for the Missouri Tigers. Well, the first key was to uh, win the contested catch, and they and they did it. They won the contested catch uh, on that play right there, putting them in position. They want to be equal to the ability of Nebraska on special teams and hang in there with field position and quickness over size. They want to be able to beat Nebraska with their quickness. Smith on the pitch to Woods, and play yeah, fumbling they fell on it at the 15 a little shovel pass yeah, Adams makes the tackle and Franklin made sure he came in to cover it up that's where they'll mark it at the 15 yard line so third down and one to go big strategy by Missouri to go no huddle it's eliminating Nebraska substituting personnel they're keeping the same players on the field going up tempo trying to tire them out they can't substitute third and one Smith comes back the other way Wow. Touchdown! Washington. Yes, the oh. Tigers touchdown! <laughs> Some 
crazy things have happened in the end zone between these two teams. If you go back to what was it, 97? Absolutely. When Nebraska eked out here when they were ranked number one. Missouri gets on the board first here. Brad Smith with the pass for the TD. Well, watch him make you miss. This is Brad Smith at his best. A little elusiveness, his capability, and then throws a frozen rope on the run. Nebraska knocks it loose. But I'll tell you what, you go, you run to the football, good things happen. And moving to the football, Tommy Saunders is rewarded with a touchdown reception. And I think they're going to take Greatest a look at it and make sure he had complete here. control of it. Yep. Going to make sure that the, that the ball was, was to completely controlled for a touchdown. Possession and the ground can't help you with that possession. I think Tommy Saunders, you know what, you never give up on a play. Tommy Saunders followed the play. He hustled to the area where the football was and he got the deflected catch. I mean, just an unbelievable effort. Great throw by Smith. The ball is on the money and just sandwich shot. Unbelievable hit. The ball initially caught by Franklin and he gets high low. The ball pops out of there and Saunders with all of his hustle goes and makes a makes a, a play on the deflection. High low ball up. Saunders does he catch it before it hits the ground. I think so. I think so. But boy things are rolling right for Missouri early on in this football game instead of a takeaway in the end zone which would have been a touchback force fumble recovered in midair by Missouri for the touchdown and this is the purpose the play stands of the it's a touchdown. it is a touchdown and Bill Callahan looks on the Tigers celebrate and you talk about it putting the team on their heels well, Missouri has done that great strategy to come out no huddle Nebraska likes to roll players in there a little bit and keep people fresh for pass rush Missouri said we're going up tempo we're going no huddle you can't sub people we'll catch you with too many men on the field it made them play simple defenses and it eliminated their substitution pattern good strategy by Missouri and now for the point after and a flag is thrown here as Missouri trying to get Adam cross it to get his. 22nd PAT of the year. Cross it as a sophomore from Liberty, Missouri. Does the punting and the kicking off as well. Uh, I think Nebraska encroached and made contact. I, I, unless the center flinched. Before no, the snap, just offside on Nebraska. Number 54 on the defense. Penalty is declined. So all they get is half the distance to the goal. There's no reason to accept the penalty. Go ahead and pump it through. Tyler Wartman, the infraction against. It's big for Missouri to come right out and storm down the football field with the big play. Up and no good. And a flag is thrown. <laughs> and it is against Nebraska, I believe, Dave. Yeah, I think so. The, the body language of McCune tells you that it's against the Cornhuskers. And it's going to be roughing the kicker, running into the kicker. Running into the kicker, number 49 Running into the on the kicker. defense. Point was no good, so we'll retry. Wow, what a break. And Missouri, an opportunity to kick again here. We'll take a look. And, and this is something that we talked about as a key. And uh, that's that's good acting job right there. That's a nice job by Cross. You get a, you get yourself a nice little statue. Emmy Academy statue for the room. That was, that was well done. Point after is... Good. You give him a second pop at it, and he is officially now 22 of 24, and it is seven nothing Missouri with the early lightning here in Columbia. Stay with us on Kia Sarah's College Football Saturday. College Football Saturday on FSN is presented by the Slider Remix with MP3 player from Kia Sarah. The power of music everywhere. You take your phone, and brought to you in part by Fellows, the world's toughest shredders. By Best Buy, thousands of possibilities, get yours. And by Dr. Pepper, one taste and you'll get it. They get it here in Columbia, the Missouri Tigers. A quick striking offense and a 7 0 lead. And Crossett will now kick it off to Nebraska. Nebraska. Short kick, take it on the 18 yard line and hit hard near the 22 yard line and that's where the Huskers will take over following the kick return as Alexander made the tackle 
we talked about 97. Let's go back, Dave. What a game this was. Oh, it was, a, it was an unbelievable game. Missouri just on the roll, and, and the ball's deflected, kicked up in the air. Matt Davison stays with them. I mean, that's just unbelievable effort and concentration. Look at the right foot, kick it up, get it airborne. Here comes Davison across the back of the end zone, middle of the end zone, a diving catch. And Matt Davison now is the, uh, the sideline reporter for the Corn Husker Radio Network. He's in the building, so he's seen that before. First to 10 for the Huskers, and they hand it off to Ross. He pulls his way near the 25 yard line before he's brought down by David Overstreet. And let's take a look at our Kia Sarah starting lineup as the Huskers are led by Zach Taylor, the junior quarterback from Norman, Oklahoma, who has been tabbed as a field general and getting better every time out. Went to Wake Forest and then to Butler County Junior College in Kansas, really taking charge. Up front, very solid group. Kurt Mann, 3.97 academics to go with starting every game last year as well as this year. And their backs and receivers, Ross, the best of the runners at 549 yards for the season coming in. Watch these two guys right here, the, the tight ends. Look at, look at them move them around, motion them around. Second and eight. Taylor running away from one. Not quick enough, though, as Mizzou don't blitz about 50% of the time, and Derek Ming comes in to come up with a sack. Ming with his 41st tackle of the year. He had 11, a career best against Iowa State last week. The defense for the Missouri Tigers, Shulock, Smith, Williams, Brian Smith closing in on the all-time sack record here. The backers, you saw Ming's work. Bacon and Harrington get after it as well. And in the secondary, Kincaid, Simpson, Overstreet, and Marcus King. Third and eight. Big crowd here at Missouri Aurora. Taylor wow. in trouble. Unloads. And Ross to the 30, short of the first down where he is stopped. And pressuring on the play was Brian Smith. The tackle on the play was made by Jason Simpson. Fumalo Thomas is having a tough time at the left side of the line of scrimmage. That time you had a line, you have Smith matched up against the tight end. Tight end trying to slow block the best defensive lineman that Missouri has. That's a mismatch. When you get a guy who's got 20 and a half sacks on his career rushing against a tight end, Missouri will take that matchup all day long, and Smith had the pressure. Cook, you see his numbers as Sam sets up 6'1", 225. He averages 43 yards plus a kick. Woods, the kick returner, but this one low and rolls, and Nebraska gets a fortunate bounce out of this. No return, and that's going to be key today with a special teams game for these two clubs. 19 yard line is where the Tigers will take over on their second possession of the day. Well, he's got 46% percent of his punts inside the 20 before that punt. So there he goes again inside the 20. Let's take a look at Nebraska's keys for, for this afternoon's football game and, and what Nebraska wants to do recognize recognition of communication, quarterback, center. They have to, Missouri gives a lot of different looks. And then create chunks, get the football down the field. Nebraska wants to with big plays, and they want to contain Brad Smith, keep him in the pocket. They didn't do it on that first drive. They fake to Woods, come the other way to Franklin, and Nebraska not fooled at all. That was a look at the Dr. Pepper keys to the game. Bowman making the stop that time for the Huskers. This Husker defensive unit is only allowing 14 points a game. That's best in the Big 12, seventh nationally, and their total defense giving up just 289 yards a game. And that's why that Missouri drive was so impressive to start us off today. And up tempo again, no huddle. It worked well. Stay with it. Second 11 from the 18. Smith in trouble. Give it chase and running him out of bounds is Carricker at the 21 yard line. Take a look at Nebraska now defensively. They'll come back to the to the area at the football for the huddle. And everybody's looking to the sideline. Now they have to call plays in from the side. Here's the first substitution pattern that Nebraska has been able to do because the ball was stopped by going out of bounds. The clock was stopped. Now they run people out in the football field and finally substitute for the first time all day long. Great strategy by Missouri. Third and nine at the 20 officially for the Tigers. Smith. And it is complete at the 31 yard line. First and 10 for Mizzou. You talk about using your height. Franklin. You that in the pregame comments. Right. There's a perfect example of it. Yep, and Franklin does that. I mean, the, it all starts up front. The protection for Smith is exceptional. And Franklin bodies it up, 
and makes the reception. That's just a good job, almost like a, a basketball player. Green's in position to make the play, but Franklin had, had position on him with his body, kept his body between the defender and the football and secured it. Franklin sophomore of St. Louis, 22 receptions, 197 yards coming in. And how about Smith? Six of six for 81 yards to start the game. Now he runs it. Uh oh. 35 40. Watch out! Smith! Can they catch him? Inside the 15 yard line. Bullets ran him down. Well, I'll tell you, Smith only had 84 total yards against Iowa State before he got dinged and had a helmet to helmet hit and got knocked out of the game. He is ripping it today. A little misdirection. Hold the football. Nebraska does not stay home. They went with the with the ball fake, thinking the running back had the football. Now it's Smith off to the sidelines. He goes and uh, it almost punched out of there. Bullock's tried to punch the football out of there from behind. Bullock showing good speed, running Smith down. Tried to hammer the ball out of there from behind, but good ball security by Brad Smith. Once he felt Bullock's on his shoulder, he secured the pig boy. He clamped it. You see how he's paired against the Huskers. 53 yards on that run he had 39 for the game against Iowa State as Dave mentioned bottled up before he got hammered and was knocked out of it now the pitch to Woods little dancing came back got down near the 19 yard line but a loss on the play as Carricker makes the tackle for Nebraska as they shut down the outside game there for the Tigers Woods coming in with 370 yards rushing 5.4 per carry character what a player out of Kennewick Washington and once again tempo is everything for Missouri right now tempo is everything and that was the first tackle for loss for Nebraska today they had 76 coming into today's game tackle for loss most in the country you see Smith moving up the national charge for career wow. now he completes it Franklin and Franklin steps out of bounds at the four it'll be a first and goal as Bo Rude made the tackle the sophomore from Lincoln for the Huskers. And you know what I like what Franklin did? Awareness where he was on the football field. Here he is in the slot. Watch him run the, run the route and watch him tightrope the sideline. He's going to take it to the sideline and now he knows where he is. Look at him. He, he looks and makes sure he stays in bounds. I mean, that's ju just good awareness of where you are on the football field and Brad Smith will strike. 15 oh, yards wow. on the play. Missouri touchdown and the Tigers have stunned Nebraska here in the early go. Once again, the misdirection. Brad Smith, instead of giving the ball to the back, all the run action going to the right, Brad Smith keeps the football and runs it around the left. It's exactly what he did the opposite. Look at all the action. Smith keeps the ball, comes back the other way. And now the one-on-one -on -one tackle is not made before he crosses the end zone. A good hit by Tiki, but not before Brad Smith took it in for a touchdown. That's the exact same run he ran the other direction for the 59-yard run. A little misdirection with Brad Smith, a little prestidigitation. What was that? A little magic with that ball. <laughs> a little ball thing. All right, four-yard TD run. Point after with no flag this time by Crossett. Boy, I'm learning the language up here today as well. 14 nothing in the early going here in Columbia. Brad Smith. Missouri with a 14 nothing lead and just 848 in now first quarter left here in Columbia Brad Smith is thrown for a score he has run for a score and the Dodge scoring drive seven plays 81 yards just 139 as the Tigers will kick it off again you know uh, Bill Bill you have a guy in Brad Smith who always rebounds after a tough game career low 84 yards total offense against Iowa State is he rebounding today or what signed a great player don't make one bad week two bad weeks and the kick to the 21 yard line and not much out near the 27 yard line Brandon Jackson on the return and Overstreet makes the tackle that time for the Tigers now let's go back to the Tiger scoring drive and how this thing all came about right watch this is the same play this run action to the left he's going to fake to the back Brad Smith's going to keep it he's going to go for over 50 down the right sideline the touchdown run they had watch coffee great block on the perimeter by coffee and gets him off to the races excellent down the field on the perimeter blocking but that run set up the touchdown run. It was the exact same call just the other way fake the run to the left and then he just keeps it Smith keeps it going to uh, to the right and he keeps it going to his left first attempt at the 
28 for the Huskers and Zach Taylor hands it off to Corey Ross the senior out of Denver and Harrington makes the tackle here as he is stopped for maybe a yard. We'll see what they call it. What, what's the touchdown Smith is watching the defensive end as soon as he sees the defensive end fly inside he's saying I'm keeping the ball no defensive end at home. I'm going to beat the one on one tackle out there by TP just a great recognition by Smith and then a great finish in the open field to power it in for a touchdown. Excellent call, play calling, excellent execution. Smith's seventh touchdown rushing this season. Taylor to throw it on second and nine. Ross, and they're right there to smother that play as well as Brian Smith making the tackle. Also, Ziggy Hood, number 94, 6'4", 280, is in on the play. And Ziggy was zaggy all over the place on that one. He was everywhere. And Look at, look at the difference in Taylor the first three games 43 percent completions and one touchdown three interceptions and then you go the other way the last three games over 61 percent and he's three to one he's three to one the way you want the touchdown interception ratio to be instead of one to three it's three to one third and ten here he had a school record 431 yards passing in the win over Iowa State. Wow. And he completes this one for the first down out across the 50 yard line Balls and lose football. I think they'd whistle the dead. It is Nebraska football. Johnson made the tackle on Swift. Well, here's some RPMs now. This is a kid that's got a gun. Zach Taylor threw a ski right. And he gets to the backside. Look, he's looking front side. One, two progression. Third read, backside. Get rid of it. He gets kissed a little bit. And I don't mean that, you know, favorably. But Jamar Smith takes him down with a little, uh, little contact. And he throws a frozen rope. I'll tell you what, Zach can hum it. Swift, nice catch. 24 yards on the play. Swift now watching from the side. First to 10 from the 48. And the dump across the 45 yard line and legging for the first down territory as Overstreet making the tackle on Dane Todd. Todd's third reception. Well, here he is, Todd. He's the check down guy. Watch him just release, and he's Zach. He's the check down guy for Zach, and he delivers the ball beautifully. And now run people over and get some yards after catch. That's a young man right there that has time management figured out. Dane Todd is a 4.0 GPA. This, that's a smart fullback you got right there. He knows what he's doing on the football field. Look at this cluster here. Bioscience major to boot in that category. Second down and one. Taylor incomplete. But off the fingertips of Todd Peterson, I believe, as Bacon was putting pressure that time. That's, that's tough to do, Bill. Todd Peterson, 6'4". And, and, yeah. and Zach threw it up there, you know, uh, more like a power forward in the NBA height. Zach overthrew him there. Now you face another third down, albeit third and short. This is a makeable conversion for Nebraska. Thinking ahead, if they come up a little short, is it four down territory for Coach Callahan? Already down 14 zip. Zoo shuttling defenders. Third and one for Nebraska. Already trailing 14 zip. Keep it on the ground. Bullen forward. Appears that they've got it down near the 37. And Alexander leading the charge on the play. And I agree with you. I think it's second and third effort got him the first down. Pulling that left guard is it's kind of a little convoy. Fullback left guard carrying him through line of scrimmage. The noise factor. Nebraska was late coming off the football. You have to have poise in the noise. And it is noisy here. You have a rabid Missouri crowd. And it's hard to hear the snap count communicate. Cody Glenn getting his first carry of the day for the first of 10. Wow. And they come right back on the ground, and Ross shows you his ability to get outside as he is brought down by Shulock, but a flag is thrown near the Nebraska sideline as he is stopped at the 25-yard line. If the play stands, it'll be a first down. Yeah, this is sometimes where a hold on the perimeter occurs a little bit. They're saying it's against Missouri, though. Personal face foul, mask face mask, 15 yards arrival. Oh. Not just the five-yard, 15-yard. It was the grab and tug. And let's see if we can see it at the end. You know, you have a, a, a running back, Corey. Oh, yeah, he definitely grabbed and twisted the twist the head around. That's where you can get some neck injuries, and and the damage was done by uh, Shulock. He grabbed that face mask and pulled it. Corey Ross, five six, over 190 pounds. I mean, that is one put together dude. Uh, if he were, if he was six feet tall, he'd weigh about 230. He's stout now. First and ten at the 13 as Nebraska trying to claw its way back into this one. And Ross found an opening and zips it up the middle down to the nine yard line. 
And, and this is where a game that Nebraska played earlier against Texas Tech Bill comes into play. They came from behind. They, they were facing a big deficit came from behind. They're down 14 points in the road. They know that this drive is pivotal. They have to score on this drive. They don't want to settle for three. They're down two touchdowns. And they give the ball to their stud, 5'6", 195-pound Corey Ross, and let him get some things done. A nice mix of run and pass on this drive in the West Coast offense, and they're responding to adversity right now. Second down and six, the ball on the nine-yard line. And a flag thrown as the ball carrier Marlon Lucky brought down by Brian Smith at the five-yard line. This is one of those deals where you only had six men on the line of scrimmage. Nebraska, did they line up legally? I think that's the deal. I think they only had six men. You have to have seven on the line of scrimmage. One of the receivers did not get up on the line of scrimmage by alignment. You don't want those penalties in the red zone. In the scoring zone, you can't have the pre-snap mental error. Pre-snap penalties make Bill Callahan get a little gray or lose a little hair. Mason on the offense, not enough players on the line of scrimmage. Five yards, second down. No, those are killers. You can't. It, 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 yards are come, tough to come by in this area because the field's compressed. You don't want to give five of them back because you had a player that did not know what his responsibility was on alignment by formation. And now you said second and 11 from the 14 in what would believe to be more of a throwing situation. Zach Taylor. Oh. Nearly picked off as he was headed for the end zone on that pass play. And Overstreet is the man that is saying, boy, I probably should have had it. Overstreet was coming, coming over the top. Overstreet was flying. Watch him right here. He's playing center field. And he's going to be reading the quarterback eyes. And watch him just come, come over the top to make a play. Almost picked it off. Should have picked it off. Wishes he picked it off. He's got one interception. Has broken up five now on the season. And leading Missouri in tackles with 56. It's third down now and 12. The ball at the 15. Zach Taylor. Good protection. Oh. No. Got hammered just as he released the football. And coming on was Lorenzo Williams. And Lorenzo Williams doing a good job against big left tackle. Malu Thomas and, and he sometimes has trouble in pass protection protecting the blind side of Taylor and he got beaten around the edge you see him there in your screen chasing the play after being whipped and uh, protection not stout enough now Nebraska having to settle for the field goal because of the pre snap penalty and the pressure Condon out of San Diego California the true freshman a 32 yard field goal attempt straight shot and he boots it through. He is now 12 of 15 on the year. Nebraska settles his big crowd down a bit with a three, and it is 14-3. We'll be right back. Missouri 14, Nebraska 3, and that stout Nebraska defense has been shell-shocked early. Our direct TV leaders have the Huskers on top nationally with 35 sacks this season. Ohio State, Louisville, and then Rutgers, but the Missouri. Put them on their heels early. Nebraska hitting on the field goal by Congdon, and now Missouri gets it back on the kickoff. Down, or they're up 14-3, and returned out to the 21-yard line. The Tigers will take possession there. On the return for Missouri, Arnold Britt, and Moore makes the stop on the other side. Well, Brad Smith is playing out of his mind. Or the way we've seen him on occasion. Oh, he's yeah, he, this he's year. Hard. Wow, what a start. First down line is brought to you by Overstock.com, your online outlet. It's all about the O. It is first to 10 at the 21. Watch for the blitz right here in the slot. Smith, go right up oh. the middle. They won't catch him this time. When you play a high risk defense like Nebraska does sometimes when you break the line of scrimmage there's nobody at the linebacker level there's no safety in the middle of the football field zero coverage 
All of Nebraska's defenders were within five yards of the line of scrimmage. Brad Smith said, if I can just get by the line of scrimmage, I'm gone. And he was. Brad Smith, 79 yards. The Tigers tack on six more. And Cross it coming on for the point after. Smith with 138 yards rushing and two touchdowns in the first quarter. Unbelievable. Cross it. Sticks it through the uprights. It is now 21 to 3, Missouri. Brad Smith's longest run of his career. Look, everybody's at the line of scrimmage. No linebackers, no safeties in the middle of the field. They trap, kick out, boom. See you later. A perfect call. They run a little a quarterback draw off of a trap action. Watch the lineman pull Palmer. Boom, gets the block. And there goes Smith. Says, see you later. I mean, you couldn't have had a more perfect call. I'm wondering if Smith may have audibleized at the line of scrimmage when we saw everybody up at the line of scrimmage and center field wide open. Big old Tony Palmer pulls from that left guard position, gets the kick out block. See you later. And Brad Smith, we mentioned moving up the charts and I believe that has put him at the top for the NCAA all-time rushing by a quarterback. I thought he needed 289 yards coming into today's game. That might be rushing yards in a quarter for a quarterback. Yeah, and he is. Or, I mean, what, are, are we still in the same quarter or in a half? I don't know. He's He is on track for some serious numbers. He is rewriting the Missouri record book as well as the NCAA record book for a quarterback. Off by the Tigers. Taken at the 15 yard line and across near the 22 yard line for Nebraska. Brandon Jackson with the carry. Now let's take a Dr. Pepper game break with Bill Jones. Hey, Bill, uh, Nebraska's stunned right now. And how about Michigan State? Trailing Northwestern 14 7. Drew Stanton fumbles the football away, and Northwestern's Demetrius Eaton takes it 86 yards the other way. Trust me, eventually he will get to the end zone. 21 7, Northwestern leads Michigan State. Bill? Thank you, Bill. How about those Wildcats? They had that bizarre game with Wisconsin before. What a season they're having. Take a look here. Nebraska comes rolling right back through the air on the pass completion. And Overstreet makes the tackle. Speaking of that Big Ten, talk about a log jam. Look at that one. Unbelievable. And, and I want to hear what John L. Smith has to say at halftime on that one, <laughs> on that play. He, he went not. He went cuckoo last week in the Ohio State game. <laughs> he may go more cuckoo in the Northwestern matchup. That game's on cable. <laughs> Well, right here, Nebraska trying to pick itself up off the floor. 21-3. And again, the pass is complete out near the 49-yard line where Harrington is in the play. Swift for the reception this time. And very close to the first down. Let's see if they give it to him on the spot. And, and Bill, the versatility of the West Coast offense is going to be favorable for Nebraska here. Last week against Baylor, they ran it 51 times. They threw it 55 times against Iowa State for a school record 430 some odd yards. This gives you the versatility to do both. They can spread you out with five receivers like they did and throw it. They can pound it. They can do anything in between. Second and one on the ground. Ross breaks a couple of tackles across the 35 yard line and down to the 34. Corey Ross brought down by David Overstreet. Picks up 17 on that run. And the Tigers now need to step it up defensively. Okay, let's see if you can find Ross. Where is he? Where is he? He's hiding behind those big offensive line, and then boom! And Overstreet says, oh, there he is, but he's making some people miss. Simpson misses. Overstreet has to get involved. But he's 5'6 and runs with a good body lean. I mean, he can't reach down even to grab him. That's why the face mask occurred. Ross at 5'6, you start trying to grab something to tackle him, you grab it up by the headgear. First at 10 at the 34. The Huskers on the move. Taylor, great protection. Going wow. for six. Touchdown, Huskers. Oh, my, what a grab by Peterson in full stride. And what a throw by Zach Taylor into double coverage. I mean, it was over the safety in front of the corner. I mean, that is a perfect throw, and Peterson caught the back half of the football. What a play on all phases. The protection starts there. They pick the, uh, the twists up inside. 
plenty of vision for Taylor and you can't throw a ball any better than that. I mean that's just an incredible throw right there and a, a tremendous effort. I mean Peterson six foot four. He needed all of that six foot four to stretch for that one. And for the point after Sam Cook rather Congdon I beg your pardon with the PAT as Peterson gets the touchdown his first as a Husker. Man, what, here's Peterson. Watch the route. Protection's good. The Missouri's twisting up front. They pick it up, and their safety can't get there. Beats the corner. The corner should have had more outside, outside technique because he had safety and inside help with the safety. The corner lost his technique, and I'll tell you what, Peterson made him pay. And Zach Taylor says, "I can't throw it any better. Thanks for making that outstanding catch, Peterson. That's big time." 21-10, first quarter. 244 here to go in Columbia in the first period of play. Is this arena football? I mean, we're scoring at a frenzied pace here. This is unrealism. We better get ready. I'm going to buckle up the seat, the seat belt, and I'm going to retape my ankles because we got it going on here. Better keep my distance. Stay away from that forearm shiver. Yeah. A little red into it as well as the Huskers, after being flattened 14 0, answer with a field goal. Brad Smith counters with the 79 yard touchdown run and just like that Nebraska bounces right back Peterson from Taylor for 34 yards in the touch and the kickoff to Mizzou Woods from the six Wow the 20 and out of bounds near the 30 yard line and bigger part not Woods let me correct you on that uh, Temple Temple Tony Temple with the return. Nice it, job. And Nebraska lost their contain. You can't get sucked that far inside. You have to stay outside and, and maintain leverage on the kickoff coverage. You can't, you cannot lose your uh, run to your coverage lane like that. And Temple made him pay big time. How about this? The Huskers rush defense this season, 65 a game today, 142 allowed in the first quarter. And what Smith got 138 of that and, and, and Bill they were only giving up 1.9 a rush less than two yards a carry that's getting bombarded today that average big plays Smith wow. across the middle <laughs> just out of reach that time for Edward Edward more real comfort mm. oh, Edward Edward, if he doesn't if he continues to run instead of circling it up I mean he basically runs a little bit of a pattern here he goes down the middle and he starts circling just continue to run I mean he just did like a pirouette in the middle of the football field if he just runs and adjusts over either shoulder he's fine he came in with 20 receptions for 134 yards and three touchdowns second and 10 from the 34 Smith to Temple and good job of pursuit to the football by the Nebraska D just shy of the 30 yard line Rude leading the way Rude coming in with 37 tackles on the season. It's another Rude Barrett Rude of course drafted in the second round by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is younger brother dad Tom Rude played for Nebraska all American teammate of mine the Cincinnati Bengals year back. It's crazy to see all these teammates and, and former opponents kids playing now the college level it's making me feel old Bill. Well. It's all right. I'm hanging right there with you. <laughs> Third and 14 from the 30 yard line now. Smith, it's the play. Spread the field, five wide, three and two. Smith in trouble. Trying to improvise. Found a man and completes it just oh. shy of the first down, it would appear. Excellent job by Britt on the reception to come back to the football just a little bit. Bullock's making the stop defensively. Yeah, if Bullock's doesn't win that little sumo wrestling war there, it's a first down. I mean, you talk about Smith being patient, taking it all the way to the sideline. Here's what he's looking at, Bullock's, and he gets it down the football field. Now Bullock's is there, and he, he takes him backwards. Instead of falling forward, oh, Bullock's brings him back, and it's not a first down. That's a good open field tackle right there. Fourth and one at the Missouri 43. They show that they're going to go for it this this year. They're five of ten in fourth down conversion opportunities. And Nebraska is going to stay on side. Missouri may be just trying to yank them offside here with a hard count, but no. Smith in trouble. Got a man wide wow. open, and it is complete at the 35, at the 30, and dragging down inside the 21-yard line is Coffee Bowman, the touchdown saving tackle for Nebraska. 
Nebraska. And they go to the big fella, six foot five inch coffee. And you know what? Gary Pinkle says the way we played the last eight minutes of last week, we're confident. We have a swagger. I'm going to stay with it. And I'm going to show confidence in my players. And they run a little play action coffee slides behind the secondary. I'll tell you what, Missouri could not be more aggressive with their play calling than they've been all day. They are gashing Nebraska's defense with big chunks. And that play 34 yards, 37 yards. And now the flags are thrown here. But we still have 28 seconds to go in the first quarter. Before the snap, false start yeah. on the offense. Left guard, left tackle. Five yards, first down. Let the left side of Missouri's offensive line, Tony Palmer and Tyler Llewellyn, a little bit early. And, you know, you get in that red zone, and Gary Pinkle, he's, he's frustrated because you don't want to take those pre snap penalties in the red zone. Nebraska did it and installed their drive for a field goal. And now in the red zone is Missouri, and they take a pre snap penalty. As a result, first and 15 for the 25. Brad Smith sees if he can get it back. A little jitterbug and gets down to the 18 yard line before Tiki makes the tackle. Blake Tiki, a senior out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, with the stop for the Huskers. I'll tell you what, a great block by Tony Temple. I mean, he got after Bullocks. He hit Del Daniel Bullocks right in the smush. And, and he let Brad Smith get some yards as a result. What a quarter. Easy. Times 4, 84. We'll see. <laughs> Stay with us on Kia Sarah's College Football Saturday. Welcome back on Kia Sarah's College Football Saturday in Columbia, Missouri at Faro Field, where the Missouri Tigers lead Nebraska 21 to 10. These two at two and one each coming in Big 12 North action. Colorado, the other two and one team, they play Kansas. A lot at stake for these North clubs right now. And Brad Smith off to an absolutely incredible start today. Has the Tigers second and seven. They're on the 18 of the Nebraska Cornhuskers and a timeout wow. to start the quarter. After the end of the quarter, a timeout to, and, and Coach Pinkle is upset. He's talking to the official about something, obviously, that maybe Nebraska did from a substitution standpoint. I don't know. Coach Pinkle's upset, though, but. Boy, I'll tell you, Nebraska's running to a buzzsaw, and that buzzsaw is named Smith, and his first name is Brad. He is just playing at an unbelievably high level. Coach Pinkle's still not happy with what caused Missouri to have to call that timeout. Let's send it down to John Radigan on the sidelines. Hey, Bill, I'll tell you what, this is a picture in this morning's Columbia Tribune, and the fans here are starting to feel a little deja vu from two years ago. This is what happened two years ago when Missouri played Nebraska right here. It was a huge upset the first time in 24 years that Missouri had beaten Nebraska, and they took down not one, but both sets of goalposts on that evening. It was their first night game in a long time. It was a huge victory that featured a couple of trick plays. One of them, Brad Smith, catching a touchdown pass, and it was a big win for Gary Pinkle's squad that took down both goalposts. The fans are already thinking about doing that again today, guys. <laughs> well, we're hopefully they'll wait till at least halftime. It's second down at seven now, following the timeout for the Tigers. Smith tosses it. Coffee. Had one blocker out there to help him get down near the 11 yard line short of the first down and Bowman making the stop for the Huskers and that blocker was big right tackle Joel Klinger he got out in front there and tried to do what he could to, to help his receiver coffee uh, get get down the football field there's the big fella just can't quite sustain contact uh, quite long enough and Bowman gets off separates from the block and makes the play empty backfield for the Tigers on a third and one at the 11. Well, starting the second quarter, Smith got time. Oh, incomplete looking for Coffee in the end zone that time. Zip through Bowman covering on the play again for the Huskers as Coffee coming in with 99 receptions, 1,421 yards, and 13 touchdowns in his career. Okay, you're playing corner now, and here comes the ball zip. And nice job by Bowman getting both hands on that football. I, I like spreading the field and having Smith run a quarterback draw right there. Where they got a cut block up front, take people down. Smith is such a weapon in the red zone with that quarterback draw. And a 29 yard field goal for Crossett now as he sets up the 19 yard line. It's fourth and one. 
And Missouri tried to tack on three more. And Cross it takes care of business. He is now 10 of 13 on the year in field goals. And the Tigers up 24 to 10. Welcome back, Kiosaris College Football Saturday, Missouri, with a 24-10 lead. John Radigan was talking about the last time Mizzou won here was two years ago. Stopped the 24-game losing streak. Trick plays galore. And guess who? As Brad Smith leading the way once again, as he ended up scoring a school record, then four touchdowns, tying the school record on their way to a 41-24 win over the then 10th ranked Nebraska Cornhuskers. The Huskers take the kick return and out near the 20, the 25 yard line for Nebraska carrying the football that time, Tier Green. And he's brought down by Christopher, Brock Christopher with the tackle at the 25 yard line. How about that throwback pass to, to Smith from Darius Outlaw? Throw it to Outlaw, throw it back to Brad Smith. Outlaw, former quarterback. I mean, they unloaded the barrel in that game. They had all their trick plays, everything that was drawn up in the sand. Came to fruition against Nebraska that day. You know, you take a look at that Dodge scoring drive as Taylor comes out. Nebraska's got 130 yards of offense. Nebraska has allowed 297. They're only allowing 289 for a game. Wow. And their 297 is what Mizzou's total with 1438 to go in the first half. This pass incomplete on a first to 10. They throw it on the flat for Terrence Nunn, who's been a big playmaker for him in the last couple of games. Here's more on numbers and tail of the tape for Missouri and Nebraska. Look at that. Missouri's rush offense, 11 coming in, and they're going to improve, and Nebraska's rush defense is going down. 148 yards basically in the quarter for Missouri in that one. And here you were talking about Missouri's total offense, you know, very, very prolific. Nebraska's total defense is coming in was 12. Today they've got almost 300 in the quarter. I mean, they're just killing that. everything. It'll be a quiz at halftime. Hope you, John that info down second and ten ball at the 26 Taylor incomplete here is out near the 35 yard line covering in the play was Johnson and looking for Swift on the play quarterback Zach Taylor the junior from Norman went to Wake Forest I say Norman was in Oklahoma yeah, and his daddy quite a player for the Sooners years ago and next week Taylor will lead Nebraska against Oklahoma. Won't that be an interesting day for it? Absolutely. It is great coverage by Dominique Johnson in that last play. Great route recognition. He's a redshirt freshman and he's 6-2. Right here, a bigger body cornerback. Third and ten. Missouri crowd roaring. Taylor, good protection for the moment. Got hit as he threw it, and it is complete. A nice comeback that time by Peterson. He's got the first down and more out to the 48 yard line as Johnson was covering on the play. But Todd Peterson, who had a touchdown earlier, makes a nice comeback play here, 22 yards. Exactly, Bill. Taylor threw it where his receiver was the one that could make a play on it because he finds the football. Peterson finds the football, and, and, the, and the defender can't. And, that, and that's the big difference. Johnson can't find the football. Peterson does. And Taylor's looking up to make sure that Peterson did after the contact. Taylor showed some toughness to hang in there. First to 10 for the Huskers. Whoa. He got hammered here. Missouri bringing it. The big hit by Marcus Bacon, a junior out of Houston, Texas. Boy, he brought the bacon, the eggs. He brought everything. An unbelievable job by Taylor to hold on to the football because Bacon hits him, and I thought the ball was going to come out. Watch Taylor, the ball security here. What? Here comes Bacon off of the off of the blitz, and he's starting to pump fake the ball and holds on to it with the contact. I'm shocked that ball did not come free. Taylor must have a big old mucker to hang on to that football because to be in a pump fake action and get hit is incredible. Well, Bacon bringing the breakfast buffet on that one. It is second down and 18 after a loss of eight. They hit him again. He completes it to Peterson, and Peterson gets back near the original line of scrimmage now at the 48-yard line. But again, Zach Taylor facing Bacon in his face. Wow. The tackle made by Harrington on Peterson. And it's crispy Bacon now. It's Bacon that's, that's cooking things. He's coming unblocked this time, and that's a hot read for Taylor. Because, uh, you know, the, the protection, everybody's got somebody, but Bacon, there's a breakdown of the protection. You have to block inside out. You can't let the linebacker closest to the quarterback come free. In the Simon error by Nebraska, you have to block down, block inside out, and Taylor bailed them out right there. Third down and nine for the Huskers. Zach Taylor. Oh. And it is in 
incomplete, unable to hang on down near the 30-yard line as Mulkey, the receiver, Moore was covering. That is Grant Mulkey, a junior out of Arlington, Texas. Everything was perfect except catching the football. The protection was great. They're picking the blitz up. Taylor staying in the pocket courageously. A good route was run, found the soft spot of the zone. Now you're going to catch the football. And Taylor showing tremendous arm strength because he's not able to stride to the line of scrimmage in a lot of his throws. He's throwing the ball as he's getting hit and falling backwards, showing great arm strength and accuracy. Fourth down and nine. Kicker goes down, flag is thrown. Fair catch called by Missouri at the 11 yard line as Woods makes the grab. Now, is it running into? That's only five yards. You have to re kick it. If it's roughing, it's, it's an automatic first down. Running into is five yards. They needed nine. They're still four yards uh, short. Maybe they just say, you know what, we'll pin him back at the 11. Let it go at that. Five yard penalty, not 15. So now it's still fourth and four. If I'm Coach Callahan, you know, I say 11 yard line, let's just keep, let's just keep them there. You know, unless you're deciding you're going to go for it because you're in their side of the field with a fourth and five instead of a fourth and nine. But why re kick? You might not do any better field position wise than pinning them back at the 11. Running into the kicker on the defense, the penalty is declined. Yep, take that First field down. position and go. He heard you. He's connected to you. And. Now Nebraska may sense a little sense. All right, we're we got over the shell shock. It's 24-10. Gave up a field goal in the last one. Finally, the field position sits in their order, though. Here we'll see what happens. Our first down line is brought to you by Overstock.com. Visit Overstock.com today and start saving. It's all about the O. Let's see if they can slow down this Tiger offense that has just been absolutely red hot here this afternoon. First to ten at the eleven. I believe the tempo they had there. Chase Daniel, the quarterback, redshirt freshman out of South Lake, Texas, led him to victory last week when Smith got hit and was knocked out of the game. They always play him a series, and he throws this one to Coffee at the 23 yard line. And Coach Gary Pinkle said, Yeah, I'm going to play him the first series of the second quarter. Well, we started the second quarter, Smith and his unit was already on, but Daniel right. is some player. They were in the middle of a drive, so they go with Daniel, and he's been running this spread offense. He ran it at South Lake. He's been running this spread attack since the seventh grade. And what confidence Pinkle has in him to put a, a true freshman in the game from his own 11 yard line, and he fires and falls back on the first snap and moves the chains. This dude's the real deal. Threw for 185 yards and a touchdown against Iowa State in that overtime victory. And he can run it a bit as he shows a little shake and bake here as he comes out under pressure. Gets to the 26 where Bo Rude makes the tackle for Nebraska shoving him to the sideline. You know you can never have enough good players in any position group particularly quarterback. I mean you're one injury away from disaster if you don't have a good backup quarterback. And Chase Daniel comes in and they were thinking about redshirt but he was so much better than all the other guys fighting for the number two. He won it outright and now they're trying to get him snaps at, at meaningful time. Yeah some folks know why would you redshirt this guy. He said well uh oh, uh -oh. he gives it up here and intentional ground. Yep, that'll be the call or saying he's down. I think you're saying they're spotting him down. But I mean he threw the ball away to avoid the sack there for sure. I think they're saying he was down right there. They're going to spot the ball. I think they're saying his knee was down before he fired the thing away. And, and this one, that, that's that's youth right here. Now, to cut your losses, knee down, and then he throws it. Yeah, he was down. The, the, the sack had occurred. His leg was down as he before he threw the ball away, threw it out of there. But you don't want to throw it up like that and risk an interception. That's a young young player making a, a play there. He's going to learn from it. So Chase Daniel, the true freshman out of South Lake, and. Over the Carroll Dragons, a couple of state titles while he was there as a sophomore, he's a wide receiver, and then took over as a quarterback, lost one game in the final two years. Incomplete flag thrown as Green covering on the play. Well, there's how you get out of a hole. That's a first down. That's how you punch it out of there. You know, a lot of times you intentionally underthrow a football when there's good coverage down the field. You don't underthrow it that much, Bill. But you throw it to the receiver's back hip or back shoulder because the receiver can always find the ball first and adjust. And Green couldn't find the ball. Green is penalized. It's going to be 15 yards from the from the line of scrimmage. And it'll be a first down for Missouri. So they'll get the ball at about the 24 25 yard line. Green could not find the ball and make the adjustment before the receiver did. And he and he prevented him from making a play running through him. 
Well, Daniel had a pretty good guy to learn from with his coach down there in the Texas high school ranks at Carroll High School, Todd Dodge, a former University of Texas quarterback. And if you haven't followed uh, that high school, they've become just an absolute national powerhouse, and they run a very similar offense. First and ten at the 25 now. There they come, a little blitz in action. Look, I mean, they're, they're they're looking like they may be aggressive, backing out now. Woods looks to the other side of the quarterback, Daniel. Snap was dropped, picks it up, tries to make the best of a bad play, and he is stopped by McEwen, the Mike linebacker, 6'1, 225, a sophomore out of Naperville, Illinois, in the Chicago suburban area. And, and, and watch him come on the blitz. And, and you know what? They're saying we have a true freshman quarterback in here. Let's heat him up a little bit. Kevin Cosgrove, the defensive coordinator, saying, let's get back to our aggressive mentality. Brad Smith is out. He hurt us when we blitzed. He hit us right up the middle for a touchdown run in that trap that Tony Palmer had that trap lock. Let's see if the young guy can adjust. There Second come again. 10 now. Good protection this time, and it is overthrown. Looking down the field for Ekwekru. Covering the receiver. And Gary Pickle was telling us yesterday, Dave, that he said in his history, and he used to be an assistant coach and has drawn a lot of his philosophies from Don James, the longtime coach of the right. University of Washington. He said, we had guys like there, like like Millen and Hobart and uh, Brunel. And he said, when we have good quarterbacks coming in, we want to give them a little taste of what it's going to be like in case we have that injury that we're not sending out a guy who's totally unprepared. Just like happened last week. I mean, Smith gets a helmet to helmet collision. He gets a little woozy and, and he comes. Chase comes and plays magnificently. Third and ten at the 25. They come magnificently after him this time and get the sack. The Huskers leading the nation in sacks and Tiki from the free safety spot gets credit for this one. Well, this is this is a little different animal than he faced against Iowa State last week. Here comes Nebraska with all their pressure packages. And, and like I said before, Kevin Costro said, let's cook something up. We have a true freshman in here at quarterback, and let's bring some heat. Let's come off the edge. Let's get after it. Come off the edge, blitz the safety up the middle, and they both arrive at the quarterback at the same time. Uh, nice adjustment by Coach Costro to turn up the heat against the young guy. Loss of nine yards on the play, and Mizzou now with cross it putting from his own two yard line. Watch the snap here, on the fourth down. And 25. He gets off the of boomer. And wow. wow, a Missouri roll, and it stays in bounds much further than you would have thought down to the 23-yard line. So they flip the field right back at Nebraska. What a kick by crossing a 51 yards. We'll be right back. Missouri with a 24 to 10 lead 946 remaining in the second quarter here on Kia Sarah's College Football Saturday from the Big 12 our Best Buy trivia question today. How about Nebraska throwing quarterbacks as Zach Taylor averages 204 yards a game headed for a 2000 yard season. There are four that have thrown for 2000 this season. Can you name them? First to 10 from the 23 for Taylor and the Huskers. He completes it across the middle to the 31 yard line. Oh, loose football. Same is down. Yep. Nate Swift coughed it up after a nice catch. Ball security is a, a factor. That's happened in Nebraska a couple of times today after they're down. Tight end in, helping in protection. Actually, he kept two tight ends in the game at the line of scrimmage. Didn't run many people in the route. Swift makes the catch. Is the ball out before his knees down? And they're looking at it. They look at every play, deciding not to review this one, deciding the official was correct. Second down and three. Ross bolts up the middle and the first down out to the 39 yard line. Picks up nine on the play and Hood makes the tackle. Well, Ross gets from zero to 60 in a hurry, doesn't he? Yeah. He can shift some gears on you now. And like we said before, five foot six with body lean. I mean, he's hard to find. And then, then when he hits the line of scrimmage, he's going now. It, he's like a built like a bowling ball that has ping pong ball tendencies. First to ten at the 39, and Missouri up with the stop here and let's check in with Bill Jones and our Dr. Pepper game break. Bill let's check out action in the SEC unbeaten Georgia fourth ranked in the country leading Arkansas 14 nothing but here is the freshman for the Hogs Darren McFadden going 70 yards for a touchdown Arkansas cuts the lead in half now 14 7 in the second Bill. All right does Georgia 
the piggies getting after it today. Here, speaking of getting after it, these two put on quite a first quarter with Missouri taking out to a 14-0 lead and led it at the break 21-10. It's now 24-10, but it's second and 12 for the Huskers from their own 37-yard line. Zach Taylor, the quarterback, looking for a little screen. Ross got by a man, 45-50. A flag is thrown as he takes it to the 49 of Mizzou. They're going to call holding on Grant Mulkey, the wide receiver out in space. They ran a little screen, and Grant Mulkey came back and grabbed. And that's going to be negated. Screen to Ross, but it's not going to go. on the offense. Ten yards, second down. That is the call as Mulkey got caught. Zach Taylor's expression pretty well tells you the story. Had a nice play set up. Yeah, it's, uh, there's been quite a bit of self destruction by Nebraska here. Not that Missouri hasn't played well. They've played extremely well. They're playing at a very high level. Nebraska has not matched their intensity, and they self destructed in the form of penalty at, at inopportune times for sure. Nebraska's only loss to Texas Tech, seventh ranked team in the nation, is meeting Texas later on this afternoon down in Austin in a huge battle. Here is Taylor, second and 20. Unloading uh -oh. the football, tipped and incomplete, getting a hand on it. King with a deflection. Marcus King, a senior from Irving Nimitz High School in the Dallas Fort Worth area. And he has broken up seven passes on the season now. And then Overstreet got the big hit on France Hardy, the wide receiver. Because when the ball is touched, now you're fair game. And the ball's tipped, and France Hardy gets crushed. And I'll tell you, that's dangerous. Throwing the double coverage that far down the field, the ball hangs up a little bit. Marcus King, underneath, almost made the play on the football. Well, the Missouri defense looking for a little help from the crowd here on a third and 20. The ball on the 29 of Nebraska. And Taylor steps up, flag thrown, in trouble, unloads, got a complete, short of the first down on the reception. It's coming back. Fuamatu Thomas, the left tackle, was holding. He had a takedown block, so it's a moot point. Take him back 10 more yards, and, and the, the, the self destruction continues. Watch him here at the left tackle working on Smith. That's the old sumo takedown, and he got his money's worth, but unfortunately negated a, a positive play. And Terrence Nunn has denied his first reception of the day. So third down and 30 coming up. You don't overcome two holding penalties in the same drive very regularly. It would be it would be third and about a yard. So I think Missouri uh, is going to take the penalty mark them off 10 more yards because it would be fourth down and about a yard. At midfield, Nebraska could convert. Moving back 10 more, I don't think there's any any decision to be made there. <laughs> it's interesting. The uh, scoreboard operator here had already made the decision. Already had up to third and 30 from the 19. Yeah. And it's like it comes a no-brainer, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Right. They, as a result, on the 19-yard line, third down and 30 for Nebraska. 7:13 to go before the half. Draw play. Uh-uh. Ross. Stopped at the 20 yard line by Lorenzo Williams, and Missouri will get the football back up two touchdowns. Well, you figure you're going to get a severe pass rush on third and about 100,000. So you want to draw a screen, but uh, Missouri does a good job of retracing their steps and making a play on the football. Nice defense there by Missouri and Nebraska on that drive, self destructed with two holding penalties that negated positive gains. Turned positive yards into negative plays by penalty. Sam Cook, the senior from Seward, Nebraska, gets ready to punt. An 84 yarder this year. You like to knock one that deep here. Nice. It's a dandy, and it's taken on the 25 yard line. And out near the 38 yard line as Woods returns the football to Missouri. We'll get pretty good field position. Yeah, you got here a penalty. 23 to go, and a flag is thrown. Yeah, I think it might be. It's either Davis or Johnson. Number two in the Missouri uh, jersey had an illegal block in the back and, uh, and, and clipped. Had an illegal block in the back on a Nebraska cover man. And there's there's two number twos, and uh, they you know they both could be on special teams. I think I think it might be Davis, but. He pushed them in the back, and it's going to cost Missouri team, 10 yards. Illegal blocking back on the return team. Post kick enforcement from the end of the kick, 10 yards. 
And that was a 55 yard punt if it had stood. Let's send it down now to John Radigan. Where are you my man? Well I'm in the Red Sea here pretty much Bill. <laughs> you can see here the Nebraska fans are notorious for traveling well. There are about 6,000 of them here today. Obviously they fill this whole corner section of the stadium. Here's the difference though. As recently as 1999 Nebraska put 25 or 30,000 fans in this place because the Missouri football ticket was not that hot a ticket. That's what a difference Gary Pinkle has made with this program. Six grand is all they could get although they're having fun with their 6,000 that are here guys. <laughs> yeah. The rest are scattered around the stadium. Brad Smith back in the lineup after Daniel had his one series and he scampers out of bounds on a first down and 10 situation and gets near the 20 yard line where Rude is there to make the play and it'll be a second and a about five. And, you know I really like the comments of Chase Daniel after the game last week Iowa State because this guy right here Brad Smith has done it for a long time. Daniel was in for eight minutes. Eight minutes is not a career make. Nebraska showed him a little different look. Now experience is a factor and Smith has it all. Yeah, Daniel said I respect him totally. He's ten times better than I'll ever be in this offense talking about Smith and that's for a guy who was the star of the game and very easily could have gotten a little bit of a fat head but right. uh, not the case at all. But he understands that eight minutes does not a career make and he's going to see a lot of different defenses a lot of different looks. Brad Smith has been exposed to it all but it's nice to have a humble guy like that that can execute at a high level and, and capable of playing if Brad Smith does get nicked up. Third down and three from the 22 for Missouri. The high scoring first quarter things have tapered off a bit here in the second. Smith in trouble and brought down on the play as might be a coverage sack as Carricker made the tackle. That's his seventh sack of the season. He came into the game 11th best in the country. And, and these these Nebraska D linemen they don't do anything real fancy they just look at the bull rush action I mean I'm going to take you up the field now character cleans up uh, the, the reason that the sack occurred significant bull rush by Lakeven and Smith he collapsed the pocket Brad Smith had to tuck it and start moving character cleaned it up Lakeven Smith was the man with the bull on that one well cross it at a 61 yard punt last time he stands inside his own five once again here oh, picked it and it is recovered by Nebraska Bullocks on the one yard line. Man, we told you to pay attention to special teams, and Nebraska with a block kick and Bullocks with the recovery, and now they're knocking on the door. And this is a shortest of short fields, and that's just a great individual play by Bullocks. He beat the blocker and then recovers it. He, he, he makes the, he blocks it and comes up with it. And you know what? You try to ricochet block, that's a tough deal. That's a tough proposition in there for Chase Kaufman. And, and, and it, it was a real problem for him. Tried to block two, didn't block either. Bullocks gets his hand on it. Huge play. First and goal for the one yard line. And the Huskers try to answer immediately. They do. Touchdown, Nebraska. On the carry for the Huskers, Cody Glenn, a freshman from Rust, Texas. Well, Nebraska beat Pittsburgh earlier this year, 7 to 6. And they had a blocked field goal in that game that was crucial. At the very end. At the very end. Nebraska beat Pittsburgh and they beat Iowa. Iowa State in, in a lot of instances with great special team play two of their five wins you can directly attribute to the kicking game and uh, this one that's a significant play in this game you talked about flipping momentum man is Shevitz. Len gets the one yard touchdown push and coming on for the point after is Congdon and Congdon go try to make a 24 17 his PAT attempt is good. And the Huskers have battled back within a touchdown and special teams figuring in 24 17 Missouri. College football Saturday on FSN is presented by the Slider Remix with an MP3 player from Kyocera. The power of music everywhere you take your phone. By Direct TV with top ranking customer satisfaction and 100% digital quality, Direct TV is rethinking the way television should be. By Dr. Pepper, one taste and you'll get it. And by Overstock.com, your online outlet. It's all about the O. Here it's all about the special teams. Bullets with a block punt and recovery. Glenn with a touchdown. Nebraska kicks it off. It's 24-17 as the Tigers return it with Temple. And 
and he's across the 30 to the 32 yard line before he is stopped. And now Missouri will see if they can regain that offensive momentum that they had. And you know the uh, impressive thing about Nebraska right now coach Bill Callahan there was no panic on his face at any point in time and that transferred to no panic on his football team and Nebraska has weathered a little bit of a storm and, and due to the poise and, and lack of panic shown on the sideline it's transferred to the field and they're right back in the game. First to 10 at the 32 for Smith and the Tigers they come after him again he unloads and out of bounds across the Missouri the Nebraska sideline. Well that time. Nebraska only rushed three and, and dropped eight pretty much into coverage. So they're they're changing it up. They're coming with a heavy blitz package at some time and other times they're rushing three and four four dropping seven and eight. And that's what you have to try to do to get a guy that was on fire out of rhythm. Give them different looks change things up. Second down and ten the ball at the thirty two. Brad Smith looking for an opening. Did a heck of a job just to get a couple yards to the 35 yard line. That's a stop made by Rude. Ooh, little push on the face as he was uh, as he was getting up off the pile. Little little extra uh, curricular there on Brad Smith's helmet, right in the face mask. And I'll tell you, boy, he can change direction. He can make two miss in a phone booth. The dude's unbelievable. Yeah, Missouri folks not real happy the way Smith's been treated. That there's been some. Tough physical action taken against him the last couple of games, and not all of it has been called. And as a result, everybody's going after the quarterback, but we might see his teammates become a little sensitive to that. As Smith unloads this on a third down and seven, he's now 11 of 15 for 149 passing. He has run eight times for 149 on the ground. That's a little balance there. Yeah. 149 of each. You can't be more balanced from a productivity standpoint and three touchdowns to boot. But I'll tell you, Nebraska has made some defensive adjustments. And that time, three pass rushers beat their man and, and got after Brad Smith, the quarterback. They're, they're doing a good job of pressuring the pocket now. Smith's total offense for the season, he averages 297 a game. That's 15th in the nation. And cross it, boots this one away. Line of scrimmage at 35 wow. and takes a tiger roll and is picked up inside the 15 yard line by Nebraska. And the Husker hit at the 25 yard line, carrying the football that time for Nebraska, number 83. And that is none. Harrington makes the stop. Our Best Buy trivia question today on Nebraska quarterbacks thrown for 2,000 yards in one season. There are four of them. Well, I know David Hummel in 1974 set the record. Ferragamo, possibly. Vince Ferragamo. Joe Daly, yeah, threw it a ton last year. Didn't He threw a lot of interceptions, but he did get 2,000 yards. And Jerry Taggy, a good call. Taggy, yeah. Three oldsters, if you will. And then Daly, who's transferred to North Carolina, is redshirting this year. First to 10, ball on the 25 yard line. Taylor dropped it, picked it back up. Now scoops it forward. He's down. He was down, and a flag is thrown. They're calling it uh, in, uh, uh, intentional grounding. They're saying that he wasn't down and just got rid of the ball to avoid the sack of Smith. I guess. I thought his knee hit, but they're throwing the penalty flag. Either way, it's either a quarterback sack at that point or intentional grounding. Zach Taylor's trying to say he was thrown to receive. Intentional grounding. They call the intentional grounding. The ball was not catchable by an eligible receiver. Lost him down at the start of the foul. Nonetheless, the key was the, the, the pressure by Smith. Oh, no, it wasn't Smith. It was clipping the feet from the back. Pretty good efforts uh, st staying after it. Uh, Jackson. Maybe Jackson. Yeah, with exactly a nice push. Jackson. Putting the beat on here. And Nebraska, five penalties, 41 yards so far this afternoon. We've got 3.34 to go before halftime. You see Jackson telling the crowd, get into it. We need a little help here. Nebraska, second down and 18. The ball in the 17 is the Huskers. Are back within seven. Taylor sets up to throw. Got clobbered. And that ball loose. Now incomplete. All right, waiting for a signal there as Moore right. was coming over. William Moore on the safety blitz. And, and you know that time Nebraska had to make an adjustment bill because the left tackle Fumalu Thomas is having a tough time in pass protection. 
Actually, he's out of the game right now. So they chipped with the, with the fullback, and, and they've replaced him. They have Murtha in there at left tackle. Murtha's in there right now. They made a change at the left tackle position, and Murtha did a pretty good job. Number 76 in the white of pass protection right there, but a blitz from the strong side, you know, changed it up and got the pressure in the quarterback's face. Murtha, redshirt freshman, 315 pounder, stands 6'7 on of Hutchinson, Minnesota. Third and 18 for Nebraska. Oh, incomplete. Nearly picked off by A.J. Kincaid. Oh. And a flag was thrown right near the sideline of Nebraska. Just Missouri was the in the neutral zone. They were in the neutral zone. And then Nebraska jumped. But Missouri jumped the in the neutral defense. zone first. Penalty for if, it was, if it was an infraction on Nebraska, they would have blown it dead for a false start. But, but Missouri jumped into the neutral zone and then caused the movement. Watch the flinch right here. And then there's early movement by Nebraska reacting to that. So Smith is the one that gets the penalty by jumping into that neutral zone for the infraction. So now it is third down and 13. Zach Taylor coming up, changing the call. Way clock at two as he gets it off. Uh oh. In trouble, escape a big defender, and now throws deep and a sensational grab, but out of bounds by none. Covering was Terrell. 6'2, 200 pound sophomore, Daniel Terrell. Well, they're still having pass protection problems at that left tackle position. Watch Martha here. He slides out, and then now he has to hold on for dear life and run him by the quarterback, and that disrupts. Taylor has to step up in the pocket and try to make a tough throw, and he can't keep his receiver on the field to play. But protection at that left tackle spot is posing a real, real big problem for Nebraska in that West Coast offense. Sam Cook back to punt inside his own 10 near the seven-yard line. As the deep man is Woods for Missouri. Quick you know, booms it at the 31. Woods stopped near the 37 38 yard line, and that's where Missouri will get possession after the tackle by Ickes from Nebraska. 3.05 to go in the half. Twenty four seventeen Missouri over Nebraska. I want to remind you tomorrow on Fox NFL Sunday the guys will examine the secrets of the Cowboys success and their climb atop the NFC East. Plus find out who's the league's most underrated team. All that at Falcon star Michael Vick moves 10 yards with TV. That's Fox NFL Sunday begins at 12 p.m. Eastern 9 a.m. Pacific on Fox. Of course my partner Dave Lapham works those Cincinnati Bengals games on the radio. You got a big one tomorrow. To Right. Bank, the other Tigers, the Bengal Tigers against the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's ab absolutely, it's a big Tiger weekend for me, and the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers come to Cincinnati, and if Cincinnati can beat them, they go 6-1 and 2-0 and and in the division. Pittsburgh goes 3-3 three and 0-1 three and oh and one in the division. It would be a big uh, big lead right there, and there's referee Bible talking things over. John Bible, and uh, we're told by our truck that uh, they have not called our truck as far as a replay situation, so we don't think that is the holdup. We've got 305 to go in the half. Missouri to get the football as Gary Pinkle looks on. Gary looking for win number 100 in his career, his 15th year as a head coach. So the Tigers will have it. First and 10 from their own 39, leading the football game 24 to 17. Brad Smith bottled him up the last possession. Series, I should say, as he this time goes deep. One on one coverage on the sideline for Coffee. It's incomplete. Covered by Bowman on the play. Well, the uh, Nebraska Cornhuskers brought five. They they came with a pressure package, and Brad Smith tried to go one on one to Coffee, his big receiver at six foot five, but never kept him on the field to play. The ball sailed out of bounds. You know, if you want your receiver to make a play for you, you got to keep it in the field of play. We haven't seen the Missouri tight ends on the receiving end. Rucker and Hoffman, who are the top tight end combo in the Big 12 Conference with 42 receptions between. Smith keeps here on a second and 10, and he is stopped at the 40-yard line. McEwen making the play for the Huskers. Yeah, McEwen is a, is a fine linebacker, leading the team in total tackles. And he, he's, been, he's been super productive. 11 tackles for loss coming into today's game he had 50 tackles on the season and to do that for Brad Smith in the open field is pretty good 
he kind of you know grabbed cloth and held on to dear life and the inside out uh, pursuit got there. Third and nine at the 40. Huskers bringing the blow. Oh, he oh. fumbles the football. Nebraska recovers the football at the 20, the 10, and inside the 10 yard line is Husker football. I'll tell you, I think the blindside hit was made by Barry Turner. And last week against Baylor, he had two sacks and three tackles for loss. And I think Barry Taylor's the guy that knocked it out of there. And Jay Moore picked it up. Jay Moore with the fumble recovery. Watch, watch uh, at the top of the screen, Barry Turner. And he's just going to come off the edge. And they block down on the blitz. He comes unblocked. And, and, and Brad Smith has no idea he's there. So the bookends, you know, make a huge play. Turner knocks it out of there. And Moore picks it up. Now they block the punt for a short field. And now they have a defensive play, a sack, force fumble, fumble recovery for another short field. Big plays for Nebraska, flipping field position. Jay Moore has forced three fumbles, had his interception, and also has blocked or, or they broken up a couple of passes. This time comes up with the fumble recovery, and now the Huskers, an opportunity here to tie this thing up before the halftime break. It'll be first and goal from the eight yard line. That was simple. Nebraska rushed more than Missouri could block. Missouri had spread the field. They blocked down inside to pick up the blitz, and they didn't have enough people. Barry Turner came backside, blindside, untouched. Taylor. Going for six through the air, incomplete intended for none. King on the coverage. Now, the uh, obviously the goal for the Missouri Tigers is simple. You got to bull your necks, bow your backs, and hold this to nothing more than a field goal opportunity. Nebraska, obviously on the flip side, wants the momentum of tying it up going in into the locker room at halftime. That's a little. See, see the particular on his forehead on these field turf fields. That's rubber, little pieces of rubber that kind of spray up and uh, you know, stuck on his forehead. Nice little pattern there, like buckshot. Timeout is called by Nebraska and Zach Taylor as the Huskers want to make sure they get the max out of this situation with 213 remaining and they've got a couple of timeouts remaining now the same for Missouri Bill and Dave Lapham John Radigan with you here at Mizzou where the Tigers came out roaring with a 14 0 lead and touchdowns on their first two possessions Nebraska stemmed it a bit with a field goal Missouri answered with a 79 yard run from Smith. It was 21 to 3, and then Nebraska is slowly taking control of this football game, and now an opportunity to tie it up before the halftime. Well, you have to you have to admire both teams, Missouri for coming out with a high level of intensity, and Gary Pinkle had his team ready to play, and they came out ripping. But Nebraska, they took, they got knocked down. There's no question. They didn't get knocked out though. They get knocked down. They get back up off the carpet, and now they've done a heck of a job of getting right back in this football game. So they're hanging around, hanging around, hanging around. And this game is a game. I mean, it is far, far from over. You have to play four quarters, not just one. And Nebraska has has experienced, you know, coming from behind against Texas Tech and and, and battling in close football games. And, and right now, both teams have a little bit of swagger, you know, that they're that they're taking out the football field with them this afternoon. All right, let's send it down to John Rannigan. Uh, been a lot of excitement around Columbia with the Missouri football staff, huh, John? Yeah, there really has. Obviously, the excitement spilled over from yesterday into today for offensive coordinator Matt Aberflus. He and his wife Kelly gave birth to their second baby girl yesterday. Gianna Grace was born yesterday, six pounds, 13 ounces. And when we talked to Matt earlier in the week on the conference call, he said, hey, my wife told me I got to mention this so that we can get the new baby on TV. There you go, Kelly. Congratulations to you and Madden. No doubt he had the offense rolling early, maybe inspired by that brand new delivery, guys. All right, thank you much, John. Actually, on the defensive side, and here they're trying to stop Nebraska. Cannot. Huskers TD Swift on the reception from Kincaid. Now you have to have full possession and only one foot down in college football. He might have gotten both feet down. The official uh, ruled that Swift had full possession and one foot down. That's a big play in the red zone for Nebraska. New football game if this holds up. And the pass protection is solid this time. Going to the backside is Taylor. Reception, both feet. That's a good play. That's a nice play by Swift. They're going to take a look at it, I think, just to make sure. But he did have full possession of the football and both feet down, not just one. That catch would have been good in the NFL. In college football, just need possession in one foot. He got left right down. Catch. Secure left or a right left touchdown. So putting it away, tucking it away. I don't think this one's going to be reversed. That's a 
That's a nice play by Swift. And boy, you talk about young receivers expanding their roles, Bill. I mean, the coaching staff for Nebraska very, very impressed with the with the likes of Grant uh, Mulkey and, and Todd Peterson and, and, and what you're seeing out of Swift. I mean, they didn't know, they didn't realize they had this kind of depth at wide receiver. Isaiah Fluellen has had an injury and he, he's not even here. He didn't even travel today. And there are guys stepping up in their stead, getting an opportunity to expand their roles, and they're doing exactly that. They're making plays for Nebraska. Yeah, Swift getting the TD had come in with 10 receptions. He's been a big playmaker here this afternoon. and. His first score of the year. He looks like he's about 12 years old, doesn't he? He looks like a young kid. Catch, possession, right foot, left foot, both in bounds, full possession, touchdown. And Second foot in, right foot was already in and down. He, had, he got both feet down with possession of the football. Tremendous effort by Swift. And the Husker crowd screams with glee as they announce that the play does stand and he's got four receptions for 49 yards and now a touchdown and the Huskers a point away from knotting this thing up with 2.07 to go before the end of the second quarter and the point after attempt is up and good by Congdon and it makes it 24 apiece here in Columbia. It's been a Charles Dickens deal tail of two quarters first quarter all Missouri second quarter all Nebraska. How's the second half going to unfold. I mean. Is Dickens going to write another script here, another story? Because the first half has been an amazing deal. It's been like two separate games in two quarters. It's and been it, incredible. And has Zach Taylor been what he was described to us as? Steady as a rock, a field general leader. You know, nothing is nearly as flashy as Brad Smith, right. but no turnovers, throwing the ball away when he's had to. Yep. He comes back. They've taken advantage of the turnovers. You come away and say, well, now we're even after being down 14. He's shown me a few things that I know Coach Callahan likes. Quick feet, courage in the pocket. He's taken some hits and still delivered the football. He throws with anticipation and he throws with accuracy. The big double A, anticipation and accuracy. He throws to spots and he puts it right on the money. And he knows this offense. You've seen him go to the backside. He, he exhausts his progression. Couple on the front side, then he immediately looks backside and delivers a rocket. He's the real deal. So the kick now for the Huskers. Uh oh. Really? And it is oh, wow. And then recovered again at the 19 yard line. Nebraska saying they got it. Don't think that's the case. Yeah, Bible already signaled first down Missouri. A fortuitous bounce there. That was almost tragedy and unforced error. It was Barman that stepped in there, 34. Yeah, Barman, and then went off without the football. Yeah, he, he just lost control of it, didn't tuck it away. He was in a little bit of a tug of war with Tommy Saunders, who caught the deflected touchdown pass. And then Barman says, no, oh, may have put a handle on that football. And what a nice bounce it took for him, because at least Missouri maintains possession, and Nebraska doesn't get another short field. And Nebraska's last two scoring drives, if you will, required 16 seconds Jeez. to tie this thing up. Now the pitch. And Woods gets out of bounds. 29 yard line. So Missouri, well, all right, see what Gary Pinkle and crew come up with here. You got 156 to go. You still got a couple of timeouts to use. What do you think, Dave? If you get the ball near midfield, then you start being a little conscious of the clock? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think if they if they uh, they punch themselves out of tough field position there, you know, you have to settle down after a potential giveaway. Now you start to work a little bit. First and 10 at the 29. The pitch, a long pitch, and out of bounds on the Nebraska sideline. Ekwe Ekru with the footballs. McKeon makes the stop. I don't think you get away from what got you that big lead, and that was an aggressive posture. I mean, they went after, they attacked Nebraska. You don't want to, like, you know, pull your horns in and, and, and maybe show a signal to the team that you lost confidence a little bit, you know? Still spread it and rip a little bit. Second down and seven, the ball at the 33 yard line. High staff, Smith with it. Saw an opening. Smith 35 and then slides and he's short of the first down. And the clock moving. 140. Ickes near the play for the stop. I think this uh, Smith is going to have a great NFL career. I mean, people are saying, is he going to play quarterback or is he a receiver? He runs 4 3, has a 40 inch vertical. He's an athlete that can, if he plays receiver, he can be your third quarterback. You don't even have to have a third quarterback on your on your active roster every week. He provides a lot of flexibility. Third and three. Smith got the first down and nearly broke it for a big gainer. 
as Bullocks was hanging on. I think he has deceiving strength as well. Deceiving speed and strength. I mean, he's so fluid. He is so gifted athletically, and he's got great vision right here. I mean, he turns it up, puts both arms around that football, protects the pig, lowers his shoulder, and gets it done. Now you got to think about the least field goal opportunity. Picks up 10 on the carry. First to 10 to the 47. In trouble again. Got him. Watson. Man, wide open. Oh, oh my. Just couldn't catch up to it was William Franklin. Mm. And Franklin's got some wheels, but Brad Smith had to throw that football going forward to the line of scrimmage. So his mechanics were a little bit off because he, the pressure made him step up. And as he's running toward the line of scrimmage, he tried to take something off of it and loft it up there, but just threw that dart a little bit too hard. And I'll tell you what, that's that's the fastest receiver they have. This kid can cook, but he just could not, not enough air under that ball. Brad Smith or Franklin or the Gandhi. Second and 10, 58 seconds to go. Ball on the 47 yard line of Missouri. Game even at 24 each. Smith goes to the sideline, and the receiver has to stay in bounds as Rude makes the tackle. Burn it. Get to take, get to start thinking about timeouts, and they take one. And you got to do that. Saunders made the decision to go for the extra yardage. Looked like he could have gotten out of bounds here. Well, Nebraska rushed three and dropped eight, and, and he decides I'm going to turn it up, curl it up inside, and he curled it up right into Rude. If he just one step to his right, he stops the clock and, and saves the timeout. Trying to do too much. Take what the defense gives you. Trying, you know, trying to do too much sometimes hurts you. So when they resume, it'll be a third and two. The ball at the 45-yard line. And now one timeout remaining for Missouri. Boy, almost a huge touchdown pass. What a way that would have been to end the half. Hey, our college football triple header continues later tonight. Baylor battles Oklahoma in Norman. That'll be followed by our kickoff show and then Washington State trying to upset the number 23 ranked team in the country, the California Golden Bears. Coverage continues tonight at 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific, only on FSN. And coming up at halftime, Bill Jones and Brian Jones. Jones squared in the studio. Scores and highlights and a preview of that Big 12 matchup down in Austin. Texas Tech and the Texas Longhorns, the two unbeatens in the Big 12, will lock up tonight or this afternoon in Austin. And what a matchup that'll be with the high-flying offense of Mike Leach and the extremely deep offensively and defensively Texas squad. 46 seconds, one timeout left. You can still get in field goal range. Got to get this third down conversion, though. Third and two. Smith on the option. Keeps the football. Ooh. Don't know. Don't See where so. they spot the ball. Looks like he's a little short. But Keevan Smith, the senior from Macon, Georgia, made the tackle for Nebraska. That was a good effort right there by Nebraska's defensive line. The strength of the team are those nine defensive linemen that the Cornhuskers continue to roll in there. Clock moving. So well, he's deciding he's going to just let it. At this point, out. you're saying, all right, we're yeah. going to take it to the house. Be yeah. glad to be tied. Fans disagreeing. Of course, it's easy to hoot and holler. <laughs> well, if you don't convert on the fourth down, now Nebraska's got to shoot. You know, they have decent field position. So Coach Pinkle is going to let it run down and then call the timeout, the, the final timeout, and then just stop the, you know, he'll, he, he can, you can just basically take a knee. They went for the fourth down earlier today and converted. Uh, a little bit different situation here, though. And uh, you say easy well, to think, all right, you know what? Go for it. Well, you know what they can do, though? Put their six foot seven inch Kaufman and their six foot five inch Rucker and, and do a Hail Mary and see if she's full of grace. You yep. know, get it down the field and got now, nothing to lose. Now, does, does Brad Smith have the arm strength to get it? I'm sure he does. He'd probably be throwing the ball from about midfield. He can get it in the in the end zone with a with a high trajectory uh, and, and do a little bit of we talked about the the matchup that favors Missouri is the height of their wideouts against these Nebraska defensive backs. So so why not just let these big boys run down the field and, and patty kick it around up there and do the old Hail Mary. Look at look at Kaufman at six seven. He's the postman. And then you know a power forward rocker and, and coffee's the small forward pretty good size there. And then the point guard is Smith, and he's going to distribute the ball to one of those big boys. All right, Saunders and Smith have scored the touchdowns for Missouri today. It is fourth and one, final play of the half, as Smith, one of the one man, fires it deep, and 
and it is intercepted by Nebraska in the end zone. Grigsby, Courtney Grigsby gets the interception, and that ends the first half. And talk about entertaining. Wow, we saw a little bit of everything. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We saw two football games. You know, Missouri won the first quarter. Nebraska won the second quarter. What's going to happen in the second half? Well, it's even at 24 apiece. As Nebraska comes back after being down two touchdowns, let's go to John Radigan with the head coach of the Huskers, Bill Callahan. Yeah, coach, you've got to feel awfully good about the way your team came back after that first quarter. Well, I give our kids a lot of credit, you know, with the deficit that we had and the play that we had late in the second quarter with our offense, our special teams, and our defense providing the last turnover. It was an outstanding effort by our troops to rally back. It was quite an assault by Missouri. Give them credit. You were obviously able to make some defensive adjustments on the fly. Yeah, no question. I mean, this is a tough offense to, to stop, especially with the caliber of quarterback that Brad Smith is. All right, Coach, thanks. Good luck in the second half. It's all tied up 24 to 24 at halftime here at Mizzou. The fans here will enjoy bands and dances from around the world, and the fans at home are going to enjoy the Sonic Halftime Report. Bill Jones and Brian Jones, take it away, guys. What a ball game in Columbia. Kia Sarah's College Football Saturday continues. Half just about over, even at 24 apiece. Missouri, Nebraska. Bill Land along with Dave Lapham. Highlights, we got highlights galore. <laughs> Who thought Missouri, and not surprised that it's tied, but 314 yards of total offense against this Nebraska defense? I'll tell you, Brad Smith was unbelievable, and there are a lot of plays to talk about, so let's let's get right to him. Here he goes. 50 yards down the field to Ekwekwu, and, and that's a big play, setting up scoring opportunities. And he gets out of pocket, and, and the ball, the Franklin is sandwiched, and, and the touchdown reception is made by Saunders. And now Brad Smith starts running the football, and he little misdirection. All the run fake goes to the left. He takes it out to the right, and he's down the field over 50 yards in. The same play, the opposite direction. Run fake to the right, run it to the left for the touchdown. And here's the block punt. Huge play by Bullets. Gets the right arm on the punt. Smothers the football short field for Nebraska. And they just pound it in. And uh, Cody Glenn, touchdown run right there. And then a big hit, blindside hit. Ball out, ball recovered. Defense bends. The bookends make a big play there. And Nebraska finalized. They took advantage of all, all the opportunities. Swift with a touchdown reception right there. And I'll tell you what, how about those quarterbacks, Bill? They were both fantastic in the first half, weren't they? Look at those numbers, Dave. 12 of 22 for Taylor, 139 yards, no picks. Brad Smith had the one TD, that interception, of course, that was at the end of the half, really a, a no counter, if you will. Uh, and Brad Smith, 150 yards rushing. He came in as the Big 12's leading rusher at just over 100 a game. He's got 150 in the first half. And I think it was 138 or something like that in the first quarter. Of course, the 79 yarder, his career best and longest, is the one that gave you the most of that. But he also had a 50 yarder as well. So you talk about balance 12 completions for 150 yards, 13 rushes for 150, and, and 12 completions for 157. Unbelievable balance. We'll take a look at the stats in just a second. Stats we brought to you by Honda's. This one is kicked off to Nebraska and rolls out of the end zone for a touchback. Let's take a look at those Honda stats and uh, some impressive offensive numbers for both ball clubs. Oh, no question. And, and the, the big difference is Missouri ran the ball so much more effectively. Turnovers became a huge factor. Then you factor in the block punt. Nebraska got short field. You know, force fumbles on quarterback sacks, uh, block punt, short, short field, short field. Missouri pretty much self-destructed in the second quarter. Yeah, defenses took over if you will, in the second quarter with special teams with those turnovers as their short scoring drives for Nebraska. So those numbers are a little misleading there. But Nebraska's defense obviously came alive and came to play in the second quarter. First and 10 at the 20 for the Huskers here. Tied at 24. And let's see what Taylor brings him to. Pass complete and should be a first down. It comes back to Nate Swift with the touchdown reception. He beats King on the play. And that will move the change on the first and 10. Zach Taylor is a coach's son. He's a gym rat. He prepares as well as anybody in the game. And, and he gets protection right here. Afforded excellent protection. And that's a uh, that's that's just a, a staple of the West Coast offense right there. Just a little bit of a hook pattern down the football field for big yards. First to 10, the flag is thrown. Taylor, by the way, he went to Wake Forest out of high school, redshirted in 02, played in three games. Ball start, 88 offense. Five yards, 
First down, played in three games in 03, and then went to Butler Community College, Butler County in Kansas, in El Dorado, Kansas, and ran a similar type offense and took that school to the national title game and threw for nearly 3,000 yards and 29 touchdowns. And Bill Callahan said, whoa, I got a guy who can come in and do what I need right now. Right, and, and he is ideal for this West Coast offense. He has really adapted to it. We talked about how much he's improved the last three weeks as opposed to the first one. This one a little bit underthrown near the 30, and it'll be a second down and 15 now for Taylor and the Huskers. And he short hops the ball to Terrence Nunn just as we're bragging on him. He throws maybe one of his worst balls of the day. We're sorry. Yeah. We jinx anybody. Nunn made a good uh, made a good play like a shortstop on the short hop, but no can do. You can't let it uh, let it bounce into your hands. You have to catch it on the fly. Taylor last week, 18 to 36 for 168, two scores against Baylor. He ran it five times for 30 yards as well. And they put the game away in the second half in Waco. Had the football, I believe, 22 minutes of the second half. You know they like to get the lead here and oh, try to put it on Missouri in a similar fashion. A timeout is called. They don't like what they see on a second and 15. We'll take a brief timeout as well. Our score is 24 apiece, Missouri and Nebraska here in Columbia. College football Saturday on FSN is presented by the Slider Remix with MP3 player from Kyocera. The power of music everywhere you take your phone. And brought to you in part by Fellows, the world's toughest shredders. By Dr. Pepper, one taste and you'll get it. And by Overstock.com, your online outlet. It's all about the O. Well, that's a timeout you don't really want to have to take uh, in a 24-24 in a football game. You want those timeouts potentially for the end of the game. They hate to burn one early in the half like that. Second and 15 with just 38 seconds going by here in the second half. And oh. near pick by the Tigers as rolling through in the coverage was Harrington. And Nebraska is now three of eight going into third down conversion situations. We'll see what they come up with their first third down of the second half. And Shulock got the big hit on the on the blind side. Shulock coming off the edge. The protection not sound enough. They're having trouble at that left tackle position. Back in the football game right now is Kamalu Thomas, but he's been struggling. Martha's been in there. They're going to have to help with a back over there for a tight end. Third and 15 for Nebraska, first possession, second half for the Huskers. This is where I'm talking about right here, this matchup. Gonna have to maybe chip with the back. Taylor. Got it away. Oh. Complete. Oh my. Swift took his eyes yeah. off it. He, he glanced up the field. He glanced, glanced up, up the football field before he secured the football. Going to catch it first. Look at the blitz pickup right here. Step inside and pick it up. Nice job by Corey Ross. Giving his, his quarterback a pocket. But man, you, you, you can't let it. If you let it get into your shoulder pads, you got trouble. Get your hands out in front and catch the football. When you let it into your body and it hits that plastic of the shoulder pads, it can go anywhere just like it did. Sam Cook at 48 and a half per kick in the first half. That's five yards better than his average coming in. And this one, he kicks standing with 15. Takes a nice bounce, but Missouri can return a little whistle, and that stops play as Woods on the return. What was that about? Did he take a knee or did something touch? They whistled it dead at the 30 yard line. They sure did, and everybody's kind of trying to figure it out. Oh, maybe wave fair catch. 45 yard punt. Yeah, I mean, signal fair catch. You got to get it. He's just saying, get away, get away. Here. That's not a fair catch signal. He's just no. telling his teammates to get away. That was a blown call by the official to blow that bad boy dead. He's just saying, get away, get away. You have to get your hand up over your shoulders and wave it. He was just had his hands down saying, it's a call. Safe, safe, get away from the football. First and 10 from the 31. And that is kind of a tough break because uh, they had an opportunity there to get a little something out of it, looked like. Absolutely. And the, all, the, all the Missouri players came up to the official and said, you know, he didn't signal fair catch. That's not a fair catch signal. That's telling your teammates to stay away from the football. But, you know, whistle blows it dead. That's the end of the play. Franklin got one. It's second and nine for the Tigers now. So they move on. Looking for coffee. Not there. Brad Smith chased out of the pocket. Flag tossed out of bounds at the 33 and a half yard line. Rude covering on the play. Well, usually if a flag's thrown like that, he's got the right tackle for holding, and that's the call. 
quarterback gets out of pocket. Right tackle trying to do a little, do a little bit too much over there, and they may have called Klingler. Klinger. Four. Holding 74 on the offense. That's who they call. Ten yards, repeat second down. We always talk about adjustments. What are these two teams looking to do here in the second half? Uh, that's a that's a real good real good uh, question because Nebraska they their momentum was based on defensive philosophy change that took place when Chase Daniel came in the football game. And at that point in time, Kevin Costco said, "We're going to get back to our aggressive nature and be attack, attack, attack." And they got Missouri out of their rhythm. Missouri wants to do, get into that mode where they were establishing rhythm and tempo. Second and 17 now on the pitch, and Woods goes forward, picks up a couple, stopped by Ickes near the 27-yard line. The one thing that I'm trying to figure out, Bill, is why Missouri hasn't gone to those big tight ends, six, seven, six, five. You know they have that size advantage and Nebraska is pretty good stopping the running game and, and we, we anticipated those tight ends to be a big factor in this football game in the first half they hung 24 points in Nebraska didn't even use them. Yeah never even looked at him it appeared. Third and 15 now. And look to the sideline for the call. Play clock at eight. Come off the slot. Showing a little blitz again. Smith delivers incomplete. Intended in a flag thrown for Martin Rucker. Speaking of those big tight ends. Yeah, they're going to call Bullock for having the hand on him and riding him. They're going to call Bullock for having the hand on the back of Rucker. That's the point you're trying to make with these guys, right? What else can you do if they have you sealed at all? Absolutely, you know, and, and you get that big body, six foot five inches. And w watch this adjustment right here. By that's that's nice deal right here. Nobody inside, so come out and just and smack that uh, that safety coming off the edge. Nice job by Paul. They're calling the pass interference on Nebraska on Bullock. But that's a good job up front by, by a, a, a lineman, Tony Palmer, that had his head on a swivel. Nobody inside. I'm going to saunter outside and pick up that safety so he's no factor with my quarterback, Smith. So Missouri, after the pass interference, first to 10. Woods corralled by that Nebraska defense. And McEwen making the stop here. The Huskers got to be thinking, hey, guys, just don't make the mistakes. Don't give up the penalties. Right now, we've got control of the football game. Well, the one thing that Nebraska did in the first half, no giveaways. They were very solid with the football. Missouri turned it over, and Missouri had a blocked punt. Now, and, and Nebraska was clean in those areas. They did have some penalties. They self-destructed some with penalty, but not with the other things. Second and 12 from the 38 for the empty backfield now for Brad Smith as he rolls to the near sideline. Uh -oh. Cuts back against the grain and nearly picked off. Trying to go to coffee. Rude going, oh my, I should have had that one. Yeah, he saw golden goal posts. First thing you have to do is squeeze the football. And, and Brad Smith gave coffee a little bit of a, a look like he should have taken it up the football field. Coffee's going to drift here. Brad Smith's looking at him. He's expecting him to leak up the field. And, and really, that was just an ill advised play to throw back over the middle of the field late is always dangerous and rude almost made him pay big time. He has scored a touchdown this year. Now it is third and 12 at the 38 yard line for Missouri. Are they going to blitz or not? They keep showing it and backing out playing with with Smith's mind a little bit. Here they come. Looks across a little bit behind Rucker. Rucker had some room to roam too. Covering on the play was Bullocks again. Yeah, if he gets it out in front of Rucker, he's got a shot. But the ball was thrown tentatively behind Rucker. That was not uh, one of the best series there for, for for Smith. And as a result, the Tigers will have to punt it away. That'll bring on Crossett. And Crossett, first half, kicked twice for 56 yard average at a 61 yarder. Got to catch the punts. The punts that hit the ground, they got real favorable rolls. Ooh, almost got almost a that. piece of that. And catch by Nebraska and none then taking it up near the 30 and the Tigers will bring their defensive group on as Nebraska's second possession will start from its own 30 yard line 11 46 to go in the third quarter the first down line is brought to you by overstock.com for name brand products and clearance prices it's all about the O's. Boy, the first quarter was all about the O for Missouri. Their offense was operating at a super high efficiency rate. 
they were a buzz saw for sure. Almost 300 yards of offense yeah. in the first quarter. They end up at the half with 314. Nebraska had 169 for total offense. And the first down carry to Ross. Ross had 123 yard game against Wake Forest, 153 against Pitt. He's top or stopped by Demarcus Scott here. He averaged over six yards a carry in the first half, 43 yards on seven lugs. That's pretty good efficiency right there. Like we said before, five six. Look at him. He disappears in the huddle. He's a quadricep and a pectoral. That's all he gives you for hitting surface. I mean, he's got the big quad. He falls up at the peck, and there's nothing else to grab at five foot six. But boy, those pecs and quads are massive. Second and nine, ball on the 31. Ross tripped up and brought down a loss on the play as Harrington spears through to make the stop. That's just penetration by Missouri. Talking about the quickness, they, they slant and then they're running through the gaps. Missouri's not going to stand there in two gap Nebraska. Missouri's going to move around before the snap of the football, and then they're going to slant and stunt after the snap. And that time Harrington ran through as a linebacker and had a tackle for loss. And he's he's done that a few times. I mean, and Harrington had seven tackles for loss coming into this football game, so he's got at least one more. Loss of three, third and twelve for the Huskers. 24 piece. Well, we ended the first half and a timeout. No, wow. wait a minute. Oh, he snapped the football, but the whistle was blown, I believe. Right, he yeah. called timeout before the snap. The center couldn't hear the the, the, uh, the whistle being blown. Kurt Mann, he still snapped the football. That's talking about poison the noise. The noise is extreme here. That could have been disastrous for the Huskers. Yep, timeouts got. Now they've burned two timeouts, though. Missouri giving those different looks. We talked about recognition and communication was key. They burned two timeouts with that. We have figured it out. There is a timeout. We will be right back. Second timeout called by Nebraska in the third quarter. Wow. And they come on now with a third and 12 facing the Huskers from their own 28 yard line here in Columbia. Bill yes. Land, Dave Lapp, and John Radigan with you on FSN. If you need uh, timeouts to the end of the game, Bill, two minute drive. Ooh, not going to have a whole lot of them. Now the shotgun. And Taylor got good protection. Oh. And it broke down. And it is picked off. It's intercepted at the line at the 25 yard line. Brian Smith. Nebraska gets the turnover. Missouri forces a turnover, I should say. And now the Tigers a great opportunity. And we were just saying, not a lot of juice to start this second right. half. And then bam. Right. And, and Brian Smith, the sack master, comes up with the interception. But once again, watch the protection right here. Blitz pickup, overpowered. Corey Ross is overpowered. The ball is airborne, and Smith makes an athletic play, goes after it, comes up with the interception. Big linebacker on Corey Ross. He's overwhelmed, overmatched. And, uh, and actually, it was Zadie Jackson, a defensive lineman, overwhelming and overmatching Corey Ross in the blitz pickup. Big turnover. See if the Tigers go for the big play. Brad Smith with the option. They close him down. He had not much option available there. That was broken play. A Simon error there. Brandenburg made the tackle on him. Lance Brandenburg is a sophomore from Overland Park, Kansas. See Brad Smith going back to the huddle, questioning his running back. Where were you going? You went the wrong way. I had nobody to uh, nobody to pitch to. Just a brain cramp of Simon error right there. Look at the first quarter and then since. 10 of 11, now 3 of 11. Mm. And it's second and 10 from the 25. And looking over the sideline, Smith is getting the call from the sideline very late in the play clock. Looping it, looking for the end zone. Incomplete. Oh. No flag. Fans wanting that, of course, as the intended receiver is Rucker. Well, they've now gone to him three times here in the third quarter yep. when he didn't see anything in the first half. So they've noticed something. Yeah, and, and they put the big fella out here, and they're saying, go ahead and stretch the field. And, and uh, that's just, I'll tell you what, got away with one a little bit there. There was early contact by Brandenburg. No call, figuring that it didn't affect the play. I think it did, but they are finally going to their big receivers. Here comes Nebraska with that, that blitz mentality again, stacking the line of scrimmage. Third down and 10 now. So Missouri trying to take advantage of the turnover. Be a 42 yard field goal from here. And now the Tigers wow. want a timeout. So they burn one. 
The defenses are confounding the offenses. There is no question about that. We'll take a little break here from Columbia. Tied at 24. Following the timeout, third and 10 from the 25 of Nebraska for Missouri and Brad Smith, the Tiger quarterback. Everybody's looking to the sideline. Everybody's confused looking to the sideline for advice. Smith got the protection. Oh. Looking for coffee and overthrew him. And now the Tigers, after the interception, they get nothing. And they'll have to go for the field goal attempt, the 42 yarder. Yeah, and, and, and watch him work here and work to the corner of the end zone. And the one thing that Brad does not do is put a lot of air under the football. He throws the ball down the field on more of a line, and you have less of a margin for error. He put a little air under it, lofted a little bit. Uh, he might have had a touchdown in the first half to Franklin right before the half. And might have had a better opportunity on that one, give your defender or your offensive player a, a chance to make the play over the defender. All right, they're calling it 43. He's hit earlier from 29 today. His longest has been a 45-yarder. Adam Cross of the sophomore from Liberty, Missouri. It's a good hold, but that was a bad snap. No good. Does not hit it. And the game remains tied as the Nebraska fans love it. And you got to start with snap, hold, and kick. Snap not that good. Holder reacts and adjusts, does his best he can, but it throws cross its timing off. And that was a good job by Ekarekwu, who did a good job adjusting on that inside uh, snap. The snap was not as good as you like to have it. And as a result, when all three phases aren't operating well, the Nebraska fans like to miss. They are loving it here today as their club was down 14 0 early on and battled back. And now the second half, the defenses have control. First and 10 from the 25. Taylor rolling out, got rocked as he threw the football. It is incomplete, out of bounds. And. Taylor took a pretty good shot after he let go of the football, just as, I should say. Yeah, and it was Brian Smith again that got the big hit on him. Naked bootleg, and he comes out there, and, and there's Brian Smith tracking him down, and he knocks him to the turf. Pretty good throw. Just did not, couldn't quite get that, that left foot in. And I'll tell you what, old Zach Taylor, he's going to be in the jacuzzi now. That bad boy's going to sleep well tonight and wake up sore tomorrow. He's taking some licks. He's shown a lot of courage in and out of the pocket with the contact he's taking. So no for the shoulder pad from one of his teammates there. Now their interception turned out to not hurt him. So he get the ball right back. Second and ten. Plenty of time here. Wow. And his receiver was down, got right back up, made the grab and moves the chains. Nate Swift as he makes a nice play. And now Nebraska some breathing room. Yeah, he, he blew a tire. He's coming up to the sideline. He blew a right tire. He's going to the pit to get a little change of tread. And as, as he, he ran out of his shoes, I mean, he, he goes down and, uh, and and back up he comes and he's got the he's got the reception has to leave the field and retread. Ball at the 47, the pick up a 21, 22 yards and first down now. Come back to the running game. That is Cody Glenn, I believe, and the tackle being made by Derek Ming. Shulak also in on the play. That's one thing, Bill, that Nebraska did not do well in the first half. 30 yards on 12 carries, counting the quarterback sacks, and uh, in, in the Missouri held up against that running game pretty darn well. Nebraska, when they made plays, it was in the passing game, and, and really the points they scored were due to those short fields off of blocked punts and turnovers. Yep, Glenn had a one-yard run, Swift an eight-yard pass reception from Taylor for the two quick scores. Ooh. And this one is passed to complete another big hit in the backfield, but Aiken. the reception is made and Kincaid covering on the play as Missouri gives up another first down. I tell you, it's, it's amazing. Zach Taylor, he's got some Aiken bacon here. Bacon comes unblocked in the backside and puts his helmet right in the small of his back. And, and even with that said, Zach Taylor has gotten rid of the football before Bacon delivers the hit and he throws a Steve Reich and then takes the lick. He was very, very tough individual, tough customer in that pocket. Sets up first to 10 at the 41 of Missouri now. None in motion coming to the near side. Ross brought down from behind and Derek Ming. Well, this Missouri defense has got some speed. 
It does, and, and they're starting to get it figured out. Coach Eberflus decided to just simplify things. And when you know where you're supposed to be, what you're supposed to do, you can play faster. And that time he had Ming run through on a run blitz, and Ming delivered. How about that? 5'11, 245. That's a fire hydrant with wheels. Ming making another big play. Ross, 10 carries for 39 yards so far today. Ross coming in averaging 4.3 a carry and had 5.49 total for the season. Taylor unloads to Swift. Out of bounds on the Mizzou sideline, complete at the 33 yard line. And Dominique Johnson covering in the play for the Tigers. Well, I watched this uh, Bill Callahan's offense. Uh, when I played with the Bengals for 10 years, Bill, we ran the West Coast offense a good part of that time. And I, a lot of these plays are the same. Terminology might be a little different, but the routes, the protections, a lot of it's the same. And the one thing the West Coast offense allows you to do is to attack all quadrants of the field throwing the football. And then when we had success, we led the league in rushing. You, you can run it in the West Coast offense well, too. Third and two. They don't run it here. And it is complete. Drop it. Nope, drop the bigger part. And make it fourth and two as King able to get a hand in there and pry that one away. Exactly. That's the reason for the incompletion is, is King's involvement. His arrival was simultaneous to that of the football. Now Nebraska looks like they're going to try to get after the long one here. Are they going to go? They may be going. Quarterback back out in the field. Coach Callahan saying, you know what? I'm not sure about this range on a day like I'm going for the first down. So fourth and two made that decision prior probably to the last call and empty backfield here. Right across the middle open to the 20 the 15 he fumbled the football amazing Missouri has recovered inside the five yard line unbelievable. The Tigers get it back, but look how it happens. It, it just, it's a slant. None catches the football with his speed. He's starting to separate, and Simpson strips it out of there. And once Simpson strips it out of there, Overstreet says, I'll take it. Thank you. But none turns a big play, and Simpson, what a heads up. He, he just reached in there and raked it out of there, and Overstreet comes up with the football. Um, marvelous defensive play, never quitting on the opportunity to take it away by Simpson. What a heads up deal. I thought none was going to be gone for a second. Overstreet, the junior from Dallas, comes up the play. Smith out of his own end zone now. Keeps the football, cuts it back up across to the six yard line. The Gary Pickles teams have always been good, very good in the takeaway giveaway department on the plus side. And he said something that they've always worked on it this year and hadn't been going their way. But he said that hadn't kept us from continuing to drill on it. And they do those types of plays all the time in practice. Oh, absolutely. Uh, they had five fumbles and two interceptions in the last three games coming into today and, and turned it over a little bit in the first half with three turnovers. They've been doing the gauntlet drill for ball security all season long. Uh, coffee. Can't find the handle. And now in Missouri got the turnover at the 25 of Nebraska. Didn't get anything out of it. Field goal was was off. Then they get it back with look like Nebraska is going to go in for score. And now they're faced with another third down. Third and seven. They are three of 12 in third down conversions thus far today. It looked like coffee. Got, the ball came to him before he could realize it. it seemed like the ball came on top of him before he was ready. The timing was was a little bit off on that sequence. And they're looking to the sideline again, getting the call from the coaches from the sideline very late in the play clock. And here comes the adjustment, the late blitz. Smith across the middle, complete. He put his knee yeah, down. Put his knee down, right. but a nice job by William Franklin. That will move the chains and gets him out of the shadows of that end zone. Franklin uh, said, I can scoot to the sideline, but once you put your knee down in college football, the play's over. But again, Palmer does a nice job coming out of there, picking up the blitzing safety, and, and Smith throws a strike, but the left knee is down with the catch of the football. Franklin gets up to do something afterwards, but to no avail. First to 10 Tigers at their own 17. And a shovel pass inside and not much doing there. No, uh, that that was rebuffed right there. Tony Temple nowhere to go. They closed on Temple. That was just well played by Nebraska. Nobody gets cut in half. Everybody's on their feet and running to the football, playing their defensive responsibilities pretty strongly right there as Bullock finishes it. 
second down and 11 from the 16 yard line. 24 piece 517 and counting here in the third quarter. Again, late signals from the coaching staff on the sideline in Missouri. Smith again comes to Franklin very close to the first down. Tietke was covering on the play for the Huskers, Blake Tietke. And that'll move the change. So Missouri, this is the best rhythm they've had, Gary, since the first quarter. Oh, no, no question about it. They're, they're trying to reestablish tempo and rhythm, and this, this, this spread offense is, is all that. It's exactly that. And that's a pretty good job right there. Catch the football and, and get down. Make sure you secure the pig. How about Dave? I learned your name before the season's over. That's all right, George. We were together. <laughs> <laughs> Joe and Gary, by the way, will be coming up to you from Norman tonight with Baylor and Oklahoma. Here's the pitch out, and the Tigers again busted as Temple nearly picks up 10, and Daniel Bullocks makes the tackle. Now Missouri has Nebraska on their heels a little bit, throwing the football and running the option. You know, they, they run the shovel pass off the option. They can run the, the sprint option. And, and this is a way that you can stretch a, a, a defense horizontally. And, and all the coaches, you see them, you see Smith and, and the Missouri receivers looking at the sideline for signals from the coaching staff and they're signaling plays in at, at a, as late as they possibly can once they see what kind of defense Missouri is or Nebraska is positioning themselves in. Yeah, the chess match is on. Is oh, it yeah. not? Oh, absolutely. First down. Fresh set of four. So the Tigers, remember. This drive started after the ball was hammered out of Nunn's hands on a reception. They took over inside, what about the seven or eight yard line? Well, it started at the three yard line. There's a stake up there at the three yard line. So they punched out a bad field position already. They've already flipped it out of bad field position. Now they want to try to score. First to 10. And the pitch again. And Temple. He pushes it out. You kind of see that offensive line getting off the ball of character making the tackle. They've slowed down that Nebraska front a little bit. Oh, they have. When you pick up seven, you know, seven or eight yards on first down, now you're now you're you're basically on schedule. You're ahead of schedule. And, and this is a free play for you. I mean, this is a play that definitely favors the offense and this down and distance. You can do anything. Second and three from the Tiger 45. Brad Smith. And Smith has the first down. He's just shy of midfield. Wally Muhammad makes the tackle for Nebraska. Well, there'd be nothing better from Missouri's standpoint than to go 97 yards, a multiple play drive, milk a little clock, and, and, and score, and finish it with touchdown. They're not even in, you know, past midfield yet. That's the problem with starting at the three yard line. All the plays you have to run, the chance for mistakes is big. First to 10 at the 49 now for Missouri. Smith slides forward, found a little crease, falls to the 46, maybe a 45 yard line before Jay Moore stops him in Nebraska territory. Brad Smith always has the same look on his face. I mean, you can never tell if he's up 20 or down 20. He is so poised. And, and he never panics out in the football field whatsoever. And, and I think his team feeds off of that. 6 2, 2 10. He's already graduated out of Youngstown, Ohio. Some graduate work here as the Tigers know the big side of the upside of this game. Both these teams come uh -oh. up 4 and 1. Here's Smith. Broke a tackle. The uh -oh. 30. Uh -oh. Smith trying to go all the way. And he does. Touchdown, Mizzou. One thing you have to be with Brad Smith is a good open field tackler. And when you don't make the open field tackle, you're in trouble. And it starts up front. Watch the O-line. Everybody's going to block down. The big Palmer comes around and seals it. And now the open field tackle is missed. Nice downfield block gets two. And then Smith speed finishes it off. But uh, Tiki had an opportunity. Smith speed. Tiki tried to arm tackle him, and Smith broke that arm tackle in the open field. A 45-yard run for the score, and the point after by Crossett is good. 
And now it is Missouri back on top, 31-24. He's got 210 yards rushing today. And this is the conclusion of a 97-yard drive. Kiki can't arm tackle him. Smith, boy, did you see him? He kind of jumped like a slalom skier on the edge of those cleats. And once he landed, he accelerated again to the end zone. Excellent effort by one heck of a quarterback. Touchdowns responsible for pretty good group there as he has tied Matt Leinart of USC for career active quarterbacks with 90 touchdowns that he's been responsible for. And the Dodge scoring drive 10 plays 97 yards. What a statement by Missouri and four touchdowns for Smith today. Man 84 yards offense he was responsible for last week against Iowa State a career low. He follows it up with one of his career best performances. That is the sign of a great player. You might hold me down one week. You're not going to hold me down two weeks. I have too much pride. I'm going to respond. And he has bounced big time in his response. Yeah. Responsible for four scores. He's run for three. He's thrown for the fourth to Saunders. And it makes it 31 24. The kick in the end zone. And the Huskers will bring it out. The 30, 35, and nice return by Lucky, Marlon Lucky. Lucky, I should say, out of Hollywood, California, six foot two ten, and brought down by Simpson. Well, how about our man John Red Radigan on the rocks? I'm told. Yeah, I'm always on the rocks, Bill. It's, <laughs> it's one of the great traditions here at Missouri is the hillside. You buy a game day ticket, you can sit on the hillside. Now I happen to see these guys. They were here an hour before game time. They've been sitting in the rocks now for almost four hours. Why the rocks? Just seem like the best place to be to see the game. Well, they have seen a great one so far. The cool thing about these rocks, guys, they were actually originally assembled here when the freshman class, when the stadium was built, grabbed all these rocks and made this M. If you look at it from the press box, it's a little misshapen, but now there is a tradition. Every year, the freshman class has to come in here, replace any rocks that have been lost, and they have to literally whitewash them. They paint these rocks every year. Boy, it's no fun being a freshman. I forgot about that, guys. I tell you, John, is that, isn't that a little painful? I got news for you. These guys have been here four hours. Man. I've been here. I was here for that whole drive, and I get, my butt's numb. I okay. bet. I can't imagine what these guys are. Well, you just through. don't have enough padding like us. I mean, you're, you're talking fanny fatigue, big time. <laughs> First to 15. Swift can't hang on as Taylor's pass falls incomplete. Yeah, well, working on the rock pile. John yeah. Radigan and crew down there. That's a new drink. Rat, rat, rat on the rock. Look, John, John oh, Smart. Are you kidding me? Yeah. John saying, Man, I can barely walk. Are, are your legs falling asleep? That's when you know it's yeah. been fun on the rocks when your legs are asleep. I'm just, I'm just glad you guys didn't see me. I down here slid down when I first <laughs> got out of the rock. It's raining out here now, too, so it's getting a little slick on this hillside. Oh, great. In Nebraska, because of the crowd noise, they had a, a false start penalty. They went first and 15 incomplete, now second and 15. Here is Taylor back to pass oh, under pressure. Man. Nearly dragged down. Oh, intercepted. Missouri picks it off. It's turned into a turnover party. Over Street again with a big play. Well, didn't get the sack, but what they get was better. Uh, Shulock got the pressure, and Shulock says, oh, man, I didn't get the sack. Then he looks up and says, I forced the interception because of the pressure. Shulak's pressure was big because his team gets a takeaway as a result of it. Watch the big fella stay after it, stay after it. Because of that pressure, a bad decision made right there by Zach to throw the football under that kind of duress. The ball sails, and Overstreet rewards Shulak's pressure with a big takeaway. But that's one that the quarterback, Zach Taylor, should have eaten, should have never thrown down the field. And Overstreet with nine tackles, a fumble recovery, and now a pickoff. What a day he's had for Mizzou in that secondary. And the Tigers with the lead. Try to keep it on the ground here. Brandenburg makes the tackle. Yeah, now they're now they're afforded nice field position. Yeah, they had the 97-yard drive on 10 plays. The defense responds and takes it away, gives it right back to the offense. Nebraska's defense, they play a lot of people, but going on a 10-play 97-yard drive, they get right back out in the field, man. They're a little tired. Over Street out of Dallas Samuel High School. Of course, his father, Lee David Overstreet, the star back at Oklahoma. Yeah. Just like the quarterback who delivered that ball to him, his father was at Oklahoma. Now, 
Mizzou's quarterback Smith dances for time and he finds Franklin Rudd makes the tackle but not before they move the chains deep into Husker territory now down to the 32. Well we talk a lot about in the Big 12 conference there are multiple quarterbacks that give you the dual threat the run throw threat Vince Young and uh, Brad Smith is definitely upper echelon. He's in the elite category in that dual threat that he poses on the football field. First to 10 at the 32 for Missouri. 118 and ticking here in the third quarter. Smith pitches it quickly. Temple trying to hang on as Nebraska swarming and trying to strip the football. And Dog and Duro makes the tackle. Ola Dog and Duro, junior from Inglewood, California, Los Angeles area, came out of Compton Community College, where he's an all-conference pick. Well, the crackback block couldn't be accomplished. The receiver was trying to come in and crack on McCune, the, the linebacker, and McCune blitzed. So once he blitzed, there was no crackback opportunity. He disrupted the whole thing. Second and ten for Missouri. 32 of Nebraska. Inside 40 seconds now in the third quarter. Coaches are going crazy over here signaling the play in late. Smith in trouble. Somehow stayed out of that sandwich and it is incomplete. Yeah, Smith, you're right, Bill. He felt the pressure of Jay Moore. You know, sometimes you feel like quarterbacks have eyes in the back of their head. You know, they have a clock in their head and they sense pressure. And Smith just, he knew lurking in the vicinity was Jay Moore and he just stepped up at the right time. It's amazing how those guys have a feel for that. And it makes it third and ten. Coaches again over here going crazy, signaling a play in from the sideline late. Smith carries it up the middle. It's down near the 28. You're still talking what about a 45 yard field goal attempt. Right. Muhammad makes the tackle. So were they getting a position for the kick or are they think it four down territory. Yeah I, I think you have to go because if you kick it of this length you have a, a, a propensity for it to be blocked because you have to drive it you know and you might kick the ball a little low and the third quarter is going to tick tock away here. Now they have the quarter break to talk about it. Well coming in we heard all about the Nebraska black shirt defense returning. How about Missouri's black shirted defense here in this quarter. It's 31 24 Mizzou after three. All right it is fourth down and seven for Missouri starting the fourth quarter at the 29 of Nebraska they'll go for it. Brad Smith looks over. And again, watch the coach signal. Yeah, watch the here it comes, here it comes. Now the four guys signaling. Oh man, decipher. Oh, everybody's signaling something. Which one's the hot signal? Which one's the right? Which one's the false signals? All the deception and trickery that goes on. They show blitz. They come after it. Smith. Oh, oh. it's complete. It's a first down. It's to Franklin. Green makes the tackle. He held on at the 17 yard line. Well, big time players make big time plays, and Brad Smith made a beautiful touch pass here under duress over Lakeven Smith it was a zone blitz Lakeven Smith dropped out of the defensive line here comes the pressure and watch Lakeven Smith that's the nose guard go oh, over his hand in front of the defensive back they beat the zone blitz Smith keeping the football turning it on 15 and then got out of bounds just inside the 14 where Bowman was there to make the stop. I'll tell you, I don't think I've ever seen a six foot two, 305 pound middle linebacker like Lakeven Smith was trying to do on that zone blitz. And Brad Smith said, I'm going to feather it right over your fingertips because Lakeven at 6'2, 305 doesn't have a vertical. Yeah. And when he tried to jump, you know, you couldn't slide the Sunday paper under that bad boy and he got it over his fingertips. Rough on the belt. Well, that's not his game. His, his game's too gap here. His game is right here. <laughs> Come after him. <laughs> not back here. He's not, he's not a linebacker. Second and seven. Smith throws it away. Coffee on the near sideline. Three receivers in the end zone. They're well covered as Nebraska had that taken care of. Well, now you're in the red zone. You're in field goal range, but you want to convert this third and seven. You want that first down inside the 10 yard line. You want the first to go. Check all the coaches are driving. Now they're all Ralph Cranton. They've all got the bus. They're driving the bus. And now they're signaling some stuff in. Which one's which one's live? Which one's memorized? You just hope Brad Smith always knows who is sitting in the signal <laughs> I'm supposed to pay attention to. Absolutely. Smith pitches it out here. Temple 
Tries to cut it up outside. Nice tackle. And what a play by Nebraska's Corey McHugh and that Mike linebacker. See why this Nebraska defense has been dominant much of the season. They make plays. Yeah, they, they sure do. And, and, and this is just staying after it. I mean, coming, getting after it. And Temple can fly. And, and I thought McHugh initially may have taken a poor angle because I thought Temple might be able to separate. But McHugh came up with it and holds it to a field goal opportunity. 31 yard attempt by Crossing. So Crossing trying to make it a two possession game as we. The early moments of the fourth quarter. We've been tough snaps. Here. Tough snaps here, Bill. Let's see how good this snap is. That's been a problem. That's better. It's long enough, and it is good. So Crossan connects on the 31-yarder to start the fourth quarter scoring for Missouri. 34-24 on FSN. Our Nissan game summary today. What a game we've got going here. Missouri by 10. The total yards, Missouri. Look at that. Wow. 454 yards against the Stout Husker defense. Brad Smith has been absolutely incredible. Has scored three, thrown for another. Nebraska allowing 229 rush yards. And on the season, they've been giving up 65 a game today, 229. Now the Huskers came back in the first half. Can they in the second half? On the kickoff. Uh-oh. The return oh, oh, oh. just tripped up in time as Simpson makes the tackle. And he might have been the last guy that had a shot that time at coming up with Lucky. Well, you look at, at Brad Smith as far as running the football. You know, you, you got a deal, Bill, where he came into the game leading the Big 12 in rushing. Now he's only got 214 yards today, averaging 10.7 a carry over a first down every lug of the football and three rushing touchdowns. So, I mean, it has been Brad Smith. Nebraska was giving up 1.9 yards per rush coming into the game. Brad Smith is cooking for 10.7 a carry himself. First and 10 at the 33, Sherwood Taylor at the controls for Nebraska. Corey Ross, and he used that referee as a pick, and Harrington makes the stop. Let's check in with Bill Jones and the Dr. Pepper game break. All right, we got an upset watch going on in the SEC. Arkansas playing at Georgia. Darren McFadden with the, the freshman with the second touchdown of the day. Has nearly 200 yards rushing. It's 23-20 now, four minutes to play in the game, Bill. Big suey. I'm telling you, he looks like a poor man's Eric Dickerson with that upright running style. Very vertical. Good call there. Second and eight here at the 35 for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Flag is thrown. Seppo's a little early at right tackle. Seppo was kick stepping like a son of a gun, but before the snap of the football. Seppo FYA. Start number 77. Five yards, second down. And he's not happy about it. Good football player. Native of Finland. Yeah, came over in a foreign exchange program. Seppo, FYA. 6'5, 320, a senior. Calls Lowell, Nebraska home now. The defensive tackle his first three years in the program and moved over to the offensive side. He's going to make some money with that move. Second and 13 at the 30, crowd roar. Uh oh. Taylor. Brought down at the 19. Brian Smith with the sack, and he is. Closing in on being the all-time sack master here at Mizzou. Well, he just beat Seppo. Seppo having a tough series. Seppo false starts, and then Smith spins inside of Seppo, and Seppo right now has to regain his composure. Watch the spin move. There it is. Tight spin. Boom. Right up the football field. Man, that's that's just unbelievable athleticism by Brian Smith. Came into the game four and a half sacks, two sacks away from Justin Smith's all-time record of 22 sacks. He is a big time player. Has an interception as well. Loss of 10, third and 23. Taylor flings it, complete at the 30. Well short of the first down as Ming makes the tackle on the play of Nate Swift. Swift on the receiving end, and now Missouri will get the football back with 11.52 and ticking here in Columbia. It's amazing how the momentum, the, the ebb and flow of it. It was all Missouri early. Nebraska fights back. They expend a lot of energy trying to come back. Missouri regains the composure, now takes a 10 point lead. It's like the tide high tide, low tide. How's the tide going to end up? Fourth down and 10 from the 33. Cook the punter, booming them all day. Rips this one to the near side and prevents a return. It will be downed. 
about the 17. We'll see where they mark the football. And that's where Missouri will get possession. At what point does Missouri say, all right, now it's ball control, now it's start eating away on that clock? I think I think they're thinking about it right now, Bill, but Nebraska is pretty good against that run, and you have to continue to mix it up, be balanced, I think. First down line is brought to you by Overstock.com, your online outlet. It's all about the O. It is first and ten at the 17. And they're going empty backfield, three receivers right, two receivers left. A great running back in the, in the shotgun, that's for sure. A running back to control it a little bit. Rude was inching up, now backs off. They toss it to Coffey. <laughs> the official, <laughs> Coffey literally went right up his backside. He stopped at the 20. <laughs> Both sides will boo the official now. The fans will all agree on one thing today. <laughs> Well, this is a, a new umpire. He had to go from field judge to umpire because see the F that's not the U. He had to go from field judge to umpire because the umpire got hurt in the first half. So Rocky Ryan is now in unfamiliar territory. You know, and, and he, he's in areas that he's he's exploring. It's like boy, there's a lot. He's looking up. There's a lot of big bodies around here. Look at the size of these guys. Rocky saying, I got to do something about this. And then limping off the field is Tyler Llewellyn. I thought you were going to start handing out grades. You were circling on that F, and I thought, oh, wait a minute. These refs do a great job. Back off a second here. Rude, by the way, Rude with 11 tackles is the high tackler in the game for Nebraska now on that last stop. Second and seven ball at the 20 yard line. Brad Smith. Nice. Comes back to 20. 25. Looked like he was hit out of bounds, but says, hey, every time I can stay in bounds at this point, protect the football, keep the clock moving, Tiki made the tackle. Well, you know, that's right now, you have a quarterback that's a great runner, and great runners are going to make Nebraska's strength work against them. Fast flow, now I'm going to cut it back. And if you don't stay at home on the backside, I'm going to make you pay. And, and that's exactly what he did. He used Nebraska's pursuit against them, slammed on the brakes and cut it back. First and ten at the 29 now. He's still over a first down every lug. It's unreal. Unbelievable as well. Right. Pass for 1167 coming in, run for 619. Today he's just running wild. This time slides across the 36 yard line with Rude there for Nebraska. I was privileged enough to see his first conference game against Oklahoma. And he was the best player on the field. And he's playing at that level today. I mean, he made Oklahoma look slow in that game. He's making Nebraska look slow today. Gary Pinkle found himself a gem in Northern Ohio and brought him to Missouri. Yeah, that first game uh, took a fake field goal attempt yep. and a real gutsy call by Bob Stoops for Oklahoma to beat Smith and Mizzou here back in his freshman campaign. The only completion that backup quarterback holder had in his career at Oklahoma. Second and three, drops it across the middle. And did you see McCune swinging, yeah. trying to knock that ball out of there? He was giving it some body shots, and the fans saw it, and they're booing. And McCune was saying, I'm punching that sucker out no matter what. Rucker on the reception. It's like Rocky Balboa. I'm going to hit the meat. Boom. Uh, yeah, body shots. Get it out of there. You couldn't do it. Body shots didn't work. Boy, McCune. <laughs> Better be careful, though. Stripping the ball is one thing. Right. Personal fouls another. Yeah. And, and uh, tell you though, he has the mentality of a linebacker. He's playing the right position. First to ten at the 42 for the Tigers. Their own 42. Now the back Tony Temple, the sophomore out of Kansas City, sets up. And Smith has the option there. Keeps it himself. And McKeven Smith makes the tackle. What a comforting feeling it must be for Coach Pinkle right now to have a two score lead and you can put the ball in the hands of the best player you have offensively and, and a great decision to change to the spread offense last year tried to keep Brad Smith in the pocket a little bit more and it didn't work out completed a, a career low 51 percent said you know what we got to go to the spread attack and, and, and space is our friend especially with an athlete like Smith the quarterback and is paying huge dividends. He's run 23 times for 233 yards prior to that one. Wow. And this one he just drops it up top and says go get it coffee and Sean does that. Well, Six five senior out of East Cleveland Ohio just out of bounds though. They, they said oh. he didn't have possession in bounds. 
and Bowman was in coverage and, and he just lofted it up there and let Coffey adjust and come back to it and Coffey's tight rope in the white and he's not there Bowman knows that he yanked him out of bounds and he didn't have possession with the ball in the field to play so Coffey just a little skosh you know not quite aware of where he needed to be on the sideline of the field to play. They also stops the clock with 806 it's third and nine now from the 44 yard line. So the Tigers want to keep this drive rolling. Here's the coach is signaling like crazy again over here, but he's hand signaling. They bring it on. Smith took a shot, but he completes it for the first down, and a flag is thrown. And William Franklin has just been the key receiver in this second half, and Smith is down. Yeah, Smith took a pop. And he has taken a shot what seems like every game and there's a penalty flag. I think they're going to call Nebraska for interference away from where the where. Oh that's helmet to helmet. You got to call yeah. that. I mean that's amazing. And that one's not called either. And it was the roughing penalty will be enforced. Oh they did call yeah. it. They called the roughing they, the in, the interference they they declined because the roughing goes after the end of the play. The roughing the 15 yards is added to the reception. The interference would have been 15 yards from line of scrimmage. So coach Pinkle says decline the interference and take the roughing. And that's the second straight game that has been a helmet to helmet contact shot. And I'll tell you what Tiki is the guy that made the hit and he put the helmet to helmet. Now and, and Coach Pinkle is, is talking to, to uh, Bible, the referee, saying, "Look, I can show you documentation where you know I, I've, I've addressed this with the Big 12 Conference, and every team in the league is doing this to my quarterback. They're trying to take my quarterback out of the game physically, and it's not right. I mean, he's taking unnecessary hits, and he had a concussion or a slight one. He got he got knocked around a little bit last week on a helmet to helmet hit, and he takes another one by Teed Key today. Now Smith." Last week the hit was so violent that it bent his face mask. Right. And there was no call. And then that is why Coach Pinkle is very adamant at this point because it's happening week after week. And not all of them have been called. Some have, but not all. And he's going, all right, this one was called, but hey, we got to get him to back off. And, and Chase Daniel has to play at least a snap. Now, he didn't come in in the third quarter as scheduled because when they made the decision to start the first series in the second quarter, Nebraska got momentum when Chase Daniel was in there. Coach Pinkle said, we're not going to do it in the third quarter because Smith's playing too well. You know, but now Daniel's in there because of the hit. Let's see how he performs. First and 10 at the 29, and he looks to the sideline. Here comes the blitz. And Nebraska's going to load it up because they were successful the first time Daniel was in there coming after him. Chase Daniel, freshman out of South Lake, Texas, Carroll High School. We told you about in the first half. He keeps the football, gets across the 25, down to the 24 yard line. And it was tackled by Ty Steinkuhler. Richard, freshman from Lincoln. Yeah, that is. And Smith comes back in the game. He's back in the game to a. I love this a thunderous ovation. There were a lot of people that said you know what Brad Smith shouldn't quarterback anymore. That is so ludicrous and I'm glad to see the support that he's getting from his hometown fans here well deserved. Second down and five now. Clock hitting the seven minute mark. Missouri would love that touchdown to make it a three score game. And Smith goes forward across the 20. Looks like he has the first down to the 19 yard line. Bo Rude made the tackle. That'll move the chains again. And now Missouri's offensive line is starting to thump their chest a little bit. They're saying we have Nebraska back on their heels. The body language hands on hips a little bit discouraged. Let's get after him. Let's come off the football and knock them backwards. Reestablish the line of scrimmage. Now they're starting to power. First and 10 at the 19 for Missouri, leading it by 10. And they are. It's a great show, man. These guys, it's, it's like a disco over there. I mean, put, <laughs> a, little put a little music, music to that. Yeah. <laughs> Just thinking. Here is Brad Smith, and Smith powers his way to inside the 15. Adam Carricker, the tackler for the Huskers. That's nice though. You know, it doesn't look pretty, and then it all unpiles and unfolds, and it's five yards. You know, now now all of a sudden it's second and five, second and long, long five, short six. That dog will hunt. Now you're on schedule. You know, nothing pretty, just now you start smashing them a little bit. Well, Smith ran for 184 through for 193 in a win over Oklahoma State earlier this year. He's 
well over 240 yards rushing, I believe, in this one right now. And it's second down and six. Now, remember, 289 yards. He's the all-time leading quarterback rusher in NCAA history. He's on the cusp of it. Temple cuts it back. He'll score. Tony Temple. His third rushing touchdown of the season, and Missouri now leads it by 16. Perfect call. Perfect call, Bill. Nebraska came with the blitz again, and it was a quick hit up. Here's the blitz. Quick hit up the middle, and now the blitz is run by it, and Temple's saying there's no linebackers anymore. They came on the blitz. They decide to blitz their middle linebacker, McCune, and he, I ran right by him. I know that I've got an opportunity to, to pierce the end zone. And Temple finished it. When he saw McCune behind him, he said overdrive time. Cross it for the point after. It's good. A 14-yard TD run by Tony Temple. Cross it's PAT, and it's 41-24 Mizzou. Welcome back, Missouri 41, Nebraska 24, and Temple with what should be a clinching touchdown, our wireless, Kiyosera wireless call of the game. These two are responsible for these two. Center reach, left guard block down, here comes the blitzer McCune, and Palmer makes him miss. Little underneath handoff, nice blocking, and away he goes. Golden goal post, he splits the defense with that speed. Once they blitz the middle linebacker, nobody there to take him down. Here's the kickoff, the short kick, taken by the Huskers, 35-yard line and up to the 37. And Bacon makes the tackle. We'll take a look at our Dodge scoring drive, 11 plays and 83 yards, 541 for Temple then to camp it off. And Brad Smith is just, I think he had 24 Missouri offensive records coming in here. And today, 479 yards of total offense is a new Missouri single game total offense record oh, man. he's rushed for 245 man. that puts him at three hold on long pass swift and makes the reception tackled by overstreet puts him down around the 22 yard line but brad smith now 3852 yards rushing in his career as a quarterback second all time incredible little uh, little inside move Beats the corner, safety can't quite get there. Overstreet, that's the place to beat cover two as close to the sideline. Huskers need to score in a hurry, and Taylor comes right back to the side with Mulkey. That's the beauty of this West Coast offense. You know, if you're behind, you're not hamstrung. You can spread the field and, and, and pitch and catch. If you want to muscle up and run it, it gives you the flexibility to do that. It's a very good offense that way. And again, throws to the 15-yard line for the completion. The defense knocks him back just a bit. Fly, a flag is thrown, though. Zach Taylor missed one series out there. Offensive pass interference number four. 15-yard penalty, second down. Offensive pass interference. Wow. Zach Taylor's taking a lot of hits today. He missed a series, now, now he's back, and now he's back with authority. But offensive pass interference, a little pick play. And it was detected. That's a painful one as you're approaching the red zone to knock you backwards like that. That's a self destruction there, big time. Second down and 16 at the 36. Zach Taylor in trouble, lost the football. Picked up by Nebraska, I believe, but a loss on the play as Lorenzo Williams right there, and yes. you see coming through with it is Cornelius Plumatu Thomas. Well, he, he's got to come up with the football because he's had a tough day in pass protection, and uh, you know it, it, that, he's he's there because he gets beaten. A little spin move inside, and he's beaten, and now he's the first one that sees the footballs out because his man made the hit on the quarterback. At least he hustled to make a play on it. Third and 20. Mizzou crowd going nuts. Taylor under pressure. Set out. Play is whistled dead at the 45 yard line. Man. The Tigers will start to celebrate. Jackson and Bacon. 
making the huge defensive play. Missouri has done a job with the offensive line and Murphy gets beaten inside and Corey Ross once again is trying to match up with a down lineman Jackson matched up with a five foot six inch running back. He's getting overpowered and Bacon beat Murtha. Missouri is doing a great job. Coach Eberflus is doing a good job of getting matchups in Missouri's favor. Loss of 17, the punt with a clock moving, 330. And Cook's kick goes inside the 15, rolls down to the 10-yard line, and still going near the 8. But remember those timeouts that Nebraska had to burn? Right. They've only got one left, and there's 321 to go before they celebrate officially here. College football Saturday on FSN is presented by the slider remix with MP3 player from Kia Sara. The power of music everywhere you take your phone. But you in part by Honda, the power of dreams. And by Dr. Pepper. One taste and you'll get it. Bill Land, Dave Lapham, John Radigan with you here at Columbia, Missouri. And I, what started as a brilliant sunny day, and that's the way Missouri started. And even though it's all overcast now, they will finish with the sun as the Tigers are 320 away from the wraps on a 41 24 victory. Brad Smith will hand it off to Temple. Temple goes forward. Nebraska has one timeout remaining. And McEwen making the tackle there. And Missouri has two. They're not going to use them. There's no reason for them to use them, but Nebraska having to burn two early in the third quarter. What a, what a roller coaster. A great uphill ride from Missouri. Then they kind of plummeted down, and now they're riding back up another little crest. It's been, man, nice game. Look at that for Brad Smith 479 yards of total offense, a new Mizzou record against Nebraska's black shirt that's been playing well. It's safe to say that Smith will maintain his Big 12 rushing leadership as well. Yeah, he had a career best 79 yarder among his terrific plays today, in case you didn't catch it early on. And clock still moving with a third down coming up now. Is, is this the same score of the big win a couple of years ago, 41 24, Missouri over Nebraska? Is it an identical score? It was in that range a couple of years back when, when Missouri knocked them off. Yes, you're correct. That was an 0-3, of course. Yeah. Two years, two ago. years ago. And how about this? They lose 24 straight. Then they win here two years ago. Last year they had the nightmare road trip with the plane right. got stuck in the mud and they had to fly up the day game to Lincoln and just didn't play particularly well on offense. Right. And they lose. They come back here this year. They were favored. The boy Nebraska was bringing it with the defense. And now as they try to run off as much time as they can. They're going to get their second win in three years against this Nebraska club. Brandenburg making the tackle that time. And that is the final time out of the day for the Nebraska Cornhuskers with it 41 24 and 139 remaining. We'll be right back. 41 24 our score here. We'll take a look at our fellow shredder protector powerful protector and Take the safety. Do you take the safety and have a better field position to punt? No, punt it away. They punt it away. The offensive line will be the recipient of that award today. The kick to none, tackled at the 50. But again, congratulations to the Mizzou offensive line as the fellow shredder, powerful protector. They did a number today helping Brad Smith to another record setting day. They really did. You know, and, and I tell you, all of them, Llewellyn. Palmer speaker Palmer and speaker take a double bow you guys did a good job speaker with that that offset that shade nose guard Palmer doing a job inside physical cook clinger nice job up front guys all right Nebraska operating without any timeouts remaining first and ten at midfield for Zach Taylor they come after him again and he took a shot Ooh, and then the ball is incomplete as it was intended for Phillips and Xavier Jackson he's feeling it Whew. he's feeling it now both quarterbacks are taking some punishment Nebraska did come up with four sacks to give him 39 on the year but Brad Smith set the tone on the first two drives of the day well in, in every single game now Nebraska has had at least four quarterback sacks leading the country in that department second and ten for Taylor Unloads this one. Oh. And it is complete, and there's a hammer job at Balls the other out. end. Incomplete. Over oh, street. Over street. 
over David the Overstreet has done it all today in that secondary, hasn't he? Oh, man, big licks. Grant Mulkey is the intended receiver, and the ball's airborne, and Overstreet it, it knocks it down on this play, and Overstreet is recovering a football that Simpson strips out of there. Overstreet's done it all day long. The overthrown ball, Overstreet says, I'll take it, and here's the last play by ball. And he says, you know what, Mulkey? I'm, I'm, you're not catching it. You might think so. Overstreet lurking back there with the Cobra-like hits. So let's take that stinger back to Lincoln. Third and ten for Taylor. Completes to Phillips across the middle, but well shy of the first down. So the clock will continue to move. And we approach the one-minute mark. Ming making the tackle that time. You know, the Missouri defensive football team, I think, grew up a lot today as well. I mean, they, they struggled early in the season, starting to play better. New daddy for the second time. Coach Eberfluss simplified things, and it's worked out. Incomplete here, and that will do it. Missouri will take over, and the Huskers can't stop the clock, and Missouri is going to go to 3-1 and one in the Big 12, 5-2 and two overall. They'll be no less than co-leaders with Colorado if Colorado beats Kansas today. And a happy Gary Finkel. This is a huge game for his staff as well as just this team for this season. Well, I, I think you got a happy coach there for so many reasons. There was a hell of a game plan that they put together. The kids obviously believed in it. They went out and executed it. They get off to the fast start. They stubbed their toe a little bit, and Nebraska is not going to quit. They came roaring back, and Missouri said, we're not quitting either. We're finishing this thing, and they did. A couple of genuflex here now for a guy that had an unbelievable game. Smith is the man. Brad Smith can play some football, and Gary Pinkle, it's a very emotional victory for him. It's his 100th victory, and what a memorable century mark victory for Gary Pinkle to take apart the Nebraska Cornhuskers. That's sweet sugar right there for him. He goes 500 at Mizzou. That's his 100th win overall, 27-27 as a Tiger head coach as they count him down here. And the Tigers second down, and again, Smith takes the knee. And what a day for Missouri. The Tigers, 41-24. Brad Smith throws for a touchdown, runs for three. Their defense came up when they needed to. And Nebraska will now fall to five and two and even on the season in the Big 12 at two and two. The Huskers have Oklahoma next week in Norman. That will be certainly interesting. Missouri will be going on the road. For Dave Lapham, John Radigan, our entire crew, this is Bill Lansing. So long from Columbia. Coming up later, our college football Saturday triple header continues. The Baylor Bears heading to Norman to face the Sooners. Then in the Pac-10, Washington State will face Cal in the nightcap. It all starts with a Kiyosara kickoff show at 6.30 Eastern, 3.30 Pacific. The final again here in Missouri, 41, Nebraska 24. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. So long from Columbia.